In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, Alif Lam Ra, these are the verses of the wise book. Is it a wonder to the people that we inspired a man from among them? Warn mankind and give good news to those who believe that they are on a sound footing with their Lord? The disbeliever said, this is a manifest sorcerer. Your Lord is God, who created the heavens and the earth in six days, then settled over the throne, governing all things. There is no intercessor except after his permission. Such is God, your Lord. So serve him. Will you not reflect? To him is your return altogether. The promise of God is true. He originates creation, and then he repeats it to reward those who believe and do good deeds with equity. As for those who disbelieve, for them is a drink of boiling water and agonizing torment on account of their disbelief. It is he who made the sun radiant and the moon a light and determined phases for it, that you may know the number of years and the calculation. God did not create all this except with truth. He details the revelations for a people who know. In the alternation of night and day, and in what God created in the heavens and the earth, are signs for people who are aware. Those who do not hope to meet us, and are content with the worldly life, and are at ease in it, and those who pay no heed to our signs. These, their dwelling is the fire on account of what they used to do. As for those who believe and do good deeds, their Lord guides them in their faith. Rivers will flow beneath them in the gardens of bliss. Their call therein is, glory be to you our God, and their greeting therein is peace. And the last of their call is, praise be to God, Lord of the worlds. If God were to accelerate the ill for the people, as they wish to accelerate the good, their term would have been fulfilled. But we leave those who do not expect our encounter to blunder in their excesses. Whenever adversity touches the human being, he prays to us, reclining on his side, or sitting, or standing. But when we have relieved his adversity from him, he goes away, as though he had never called on us for trouble that had afflicted him. Thus, the deeds of the transgressors appear good to them. We destroyed generations before you when they did wrong. Their messengers came to them with clear signs, but they would not believe. Thus, we requite the sinful people. Then we made you successors on earth after them to see how you would behave. And when our clear revelations are recited to them, those who do not hope to meet us say, bring a Quran other than this or change it. Say, it is not for me to change it of my own accord. I only follow what is revealed to me. I fear if I disobeyed my Lord, the torment of a terrible day. Say, had God willed, I would not have recited it to you, and he would not have made it known to you. I have lived among you for a lifetime before it. Do you not understand? Who does greater wrong than someone who fabricates lies about God or denies his revelations? The guilty will never prosper, and they worship besides God what neither harms them nor benefits them. And they say... These are our intercessors with God. Say, are you informing God about what he does not know in the heavens or on earth? Glorified be he, high above the associations they make. Mankind was a single community, then they differed. Were it not for a prior decree from your Lord, the matters over which they had disputed would have been settled. And they say, if only a miracle was sent down to him from his Lord, Say, the realm of the unseen belongs to God. So wait. I am waiting with you. When we make the people taste mercy after some adversity has touched them, they begin to scheme against our revelations. Say, God is swifter in scheming. 
Our envoys are writing down what you scheme. It is he who transports you across land and sea, until when you are on ships, sailing in a favorable wind, and rejoicing in it, a raging wind arrives. The waves surge over them from every side, and they realize that they are besieged. Thereupon, they pray to God, professing sincere devotion to him. If you save us from this, we will be among the appreciative. But then, when he has saved them, they commit violations on earth and oppose justice. O oh, people, your violations are against your own souls. It is the enjoyment of the present life. Then, to us is your return, and we will inform you of what you used to do. The likeness of the present life is this. Water that we send down from the sky is absorbed by the plants of the earth from which the people and the animals eat. Until, when the earth puts on its fine appearance and is beautified, and its inhabitants think that they have mastered it, our command descends upon it by night or by day, and we turn it into stubble, as if it had not flourished the day before. We thus clarify the revelations for people who reflect. God invites to the home of peace and guides whomever he wills to a straight path. For those who have done good is goodness and more. Neither gloom nor shame will come over their faces. These are the inhabitants of paradise, abiding therein forever. As for those who have earned evil deeds, a reward of similar evil and shame will cover them. They will have no defense against God, as if their faces are covered with dark patches of night. These are the inmates of the fire, abiding therein forever. On the day when we will gather them all together, then say to those who ascribe partners, to your place, you and your partners. Then we will separate between them, and their partners will say, it was not us you were worshipping. God is sufficient witness between us and you. We were unaware of your worshipping us. There, every soul will experience what it had done previously, and they will be returned to God, their true master, and what they used to invent will fail them say who provides for you from the heaven and the earth and who controls the hearing and the sight and who produces the living from the dead and produces the dead from the living and who governs the order they will say god say will you not be careful such is god your lord the true what is there beyond the truth except falsehood how are you turned away Thus your Lord's word proved true against those who disobeyed, for they do not believe. Say, can any of your partners initiate creation and then repeat it? Say, God initiates creation and then repeats it. How are you so deluded? Say, can any of your partners guide to the truth? Say, God guides to the truth. Is he who guides to the truth more worthy of being followed? or he who does not guide, unless he himself is guided. What is the matter with you? How do you judge? Most of them follow nothing but assumptions, and assumptions avail nothing against the truth. God is fully aware of what they do. This Quran could not have been produced by anyone other than God. In fact, it is a confirmation of what preceded it and an elaboration of the book. There is no doubt about it. It is from the Lord of the universe. Or do they say he has forged it? Say, then produce a single chapter like it and call upon whomever you can, apart from God, if you are truthful. In fact, they deny what is beyond the limits of their knowledge and whose explanation has not yet reached them. Thus, those before them refuse to believe. So note the consequences for the wrongdoers. Among them are those who believe in it, and among them are those who do not believe in it. Your Lord is fully aware of the mischief makers. If they accuse you of lying, say, I have my deeds and you have your deeds. You are quit of what I do, and I'm quit of what you do. And among them are those who listen to you. But. 
Can you make the deaf hear, even though they do not understand? And among them are those who look at you. But can you guide the blind, even though they do not see? God does not wrong the people in the least, but the people wrong their own selves. It's on the day when he rounds them up, as if they had tarried only one hour of a day, they will recognize one another. Those who denied the meeting with God will be the losers. They were not guided. Whether we show you some of what we promise them or take you, to us is their return. God is witness to everything they do. Every community has a messenger. When their messenger has come, judgment will be passed between them with fairness, and they will not be wronged. And they say, when will this promise be fulfilled? If you are truthful, say, I have no power to harm or benefit myself, except as God wills. To every nation is an appointed time. Then, when their time arrives, they can neither postpone it by one hour nor advance it. Say, have you considered if his punishment overtakes you by night or by day, what part of it will the guilty seek to hasten? Then when it falls, will you believe in it now, when before you tried to hasten it? Then it will be said to those who did wrong, taste the torment of eternity. Will you be rewarded except for what you used to do? And they inquire of you, is it true? Say, yes, by my Lord, it is true, and you cannot evade it. Had every soul which had done wrong possessed everything on earth, it would offer it as a ransom. They will hide the remorse when they witness the suffering, and it will be judged between them equitably, and they will not be wronged. Assuredly, to God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth. Assuredly, the promise of God is true, but most of them do not know. He gives life and causes death, and to him you will be returned. Most people, there has come to you advice from your Lord, and healing for what is in the hearts, and guidance and mercy for the believers. Say, in God's grace and mercy, let them rejoice. That is better than what they hoard. Say, have you considered the sustenance God has sent down for you, some of which you made unlawful and some lawful? Say, did God give you permission, or do you fabricate lies and attribute them to God? What will they think, those who fabricate lies and attribute them to God, on the day of resurrection? God is bountiful towards the people, but most of them do not give thanks. You do not get into any situation, nor do you recite any Quran, nor do you do anything. But we are watching over you as you undertake it. Not even the weight of an atom on earth or in the sky escapes your Lord, nor is there anything smaller or larger but is in a clear record. Unquestionably, God's friends have nothing to fear, nor shall they grieve. Those who believe and are aware, for them is good news in this life and in the hereafter. There is no alteration to the words of God. That is the supreme triumph. And let not their sayings dishearten you. All power is God's. He is the hearer, the knower. Certainly to God belongs everyone in the heavens and everyone on earth. Those who invoke other than God do not follow partners. They follow only assumptions and they only guess. It is he who made the night for your rest and the daylight for visibility. Surely in that are signs for people who listen. And they said, God, God has taken a son. Be he glorified. He is the self-sufficient. His is everything in the heavens and everything on earth. Do you have any proof for this? Or are you saying about God what you do not know? Say, those who fabricate lies about God will not succeed. Some enjoyment in this world, then to us is their return, then 
we will make them taste the severe punishment on account of their disbelief and relate to them the story of Noah when he said to his people, O oh my people, if my presence among you and my reminding you of God's signs is too much for you, then in God I have put my trust. So come to a decision, you and your partners, and do not let the matter perplex you. Then carry out your decision on me, and do not hold back. But if you turn away, I haven't asked you for any wage. My wage falls only on God, and I was commanded to be of those who submit. But they denounced him, so we saved him and those with him in the ark, and we made them successors, and we drowned those who rejected our signs. So consider the fate of those who were warned. Then after him we sent messengers to their people. They came to them with the clear proofs, but they would not believe in anything they had already rejected. Thus, we set a seal on the hearts of the hostile. Then after them, we sent Moses and Aaron with our proofs to Pharaoh and his dignitaries. But they acted arrogantly. They were sinful people. And when the truth came to them from us, they said this, this is, this is clearly sorcery. Moses said, is this what you say of the truth when it has come to you? Is this sorcery? Sorcerers do not succeed. They said, did you come to us to divert us from what we found our ancestors following, and so that you become prominent in the land? We will never believe in you. Pharaoh said, bring me every experienced sorcerer. And when the sorcerers came, Moses said to them, throw whatever you have to throw. And when they threw, Moses said, what you produced is sorcery and God will make it fail. God does not foster the efforts of the corrupt. And God upholds the truth with his words, even though the sinners detest it. But none believed in Moses except some children of his people, for fear that Pharaoh and his chiefs would persecute them. Pharaoh was high and mighty in the land. He was a tyrant. Moses said, O oh, my people, if you have believed in God, then put your trust in him, if you have submitted. They said, In God we have put our trust. Our Lord, do not make us victims of the oppressive people and deliver us by your mercy from the disbelieving people. And we inspired Moses and his brother. Settle your people in Egypt and make your homes places of worship and perform the prayer and give good news to the believers. Moses said, Our Lord, you have given Pharaoh and his chief splendor and wealth in the worldly life. Our Lord, for them to lead away from your path. Our Lord, obliterate their wealth and harden their hearts. They will not believe until they see the painful torment. He said, your prayer has been answered, so go straight and do not follow the path of those who do not know. And we deliver the children of Israel across the sea. Pharaoh and his troops pursued them defiantly and aggressively. Until when he was about to drown, he said, I believe that there is no God except the one the children of Israel believe in, and I am of those who submit. Now, when you have rebelled before and been of the mischief makers, today we will preserve your body so that you become a sign for those after you. But most people are heedless of our signs and we settled the children of Israel in a position of honor and provided them with good things. They did not differ until knowledge came to them. Your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection regarding their differences. If you are in doubt about what we reveal to you, ask those who read the scripture before you. The truth has come to you from your Lord, so do not be of those who doubt. And do not be of those who deny God's revelations, lest you become one of the losers. Those against whom your Lord's word is justified will not believe, even if every sign comes to them until they see the painful punishment. That if only there was one town that believed and benefited by its belief. 
except for the people of Jonah. When they believed, we removed from them the suffering of disgrace in the worldly life, and we gave them comfort for a while. Had your Lord willed, everyone on earth would have believed. Will you compel people to become believers? No soul can believe except by God's leave, and he lays disgrace upon those who refuse to understand. Say, look at what is in the heavens and the earth, but signs and warnings are of no avail for people who do not believe. Do they expect anything but the likes of the days of those who passed away before them? Say, then wait. I will be waiting with you. And then we save our messengers and those who believe. It is binding on us to save the believers. Say, O oh people, if you're in doubt about my religion, I do not serve those you serve apart from God. But I serve God, the one who will terminate your lives. And I was commanded to be of the believers and dedicate yourself to the true religion, a monotheist, and never be of the polytheists. And do not call apart from God on what neither benefits you nor harms you. If you do, you are then one of the wrongdoers. If God afflicts you with harm, none can remove it except he. And if he wants good for you, none can repel his grace. He makes it reach whomever he wills of his servants. He is the forgiver the merciful. Say, O oh people, the truth has come to you from your Lord. Whoever accepts guidance is guided for his own soul, and whoever strays only strays to its detriment. I am not a guardian over you, and follow what is revealed to you, and be patient until God issues his judgment, for he is the best of judges. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, Alif Lam Ra, a scripture whose verses were perfected, then elaborated from one who is wise and informed, that you shall worship none but God. I am a warner to you from him and a bearer of good news. And ask your Lord for forgiveness and repent to him. He will provide you with good sustenance until a stated term and will bestow his grace on every possessor of virtue. But if you turn away, then I fear for you the punishment of a grievous day. To God is your return, and he is capable of all things. They wrap their chests to hide from him, but even as they cover themselves with their clothes, he knows what they conceal and what they reveal. He knows what lies within the hearts. There is no moving creature on earth, but its sustenance depends on God and he knows where it lives and where it rests. Everything is in a clear book. It is he who created the heavens and the earth in six days, and his throne was upon the waters in order to test you, which of you is best in conduct. And if you were to say, you will be resurrected after death, those who disbelieve would say, this is nothing but plain witchcraft. And if we postponed their punishment until a stated time, they would say, what holds it back? On the day when it reaches them, it will not be averted from them, and what they use to ridicule will besiege them. If we give the human being a taste of mercy from us and then withdraw it from him, he becomes despairing and ungrateful. And if we give him a taste of prosperity, after some adversity has afflicted him, he will say, troubles have gone away from me. He becomes excited and proud. Except those who are patient and do good deeds, these will have forgiveness and a great reward. Perhaps you wish to disregard some of what is revealed to you, and you may be stressed because of it, since they say, if only a treasure was sent down to him, or an angel came with him. You are only a warner and God is responsible for all things. Or do they say he invented it? Say, then produce 10 chapters like it, invented, and call upon whomever you can besides God if you are truthful. But if they fail to answer you, know that it was revealed with God's knowledge and that there is no God but he. Will you then submit 
Whoever desires the worldly life and its glitter, we will fully recompense them for their deeds therein, and therein they will not be defrauded. These, they will have nothing but the fire in the hereafter. Their deeds are in vain therein, and their works are null. Is he who possesses a clear proof from his Lord, recited by a witness from him, and before it the Book of Moses, a guide and a mercy? These believe in it, but whoever defies it from among the various factions, the fire is his promise. So have no doubt about it. It is the truth from your Lord. But most people do not believe. Who does greater wrong than he who fabricates lies about God? These will be presented before their Lord, and the witnesses will say, These are they who lied about their Lord. Indeed, the curse of God is upon the wrongdoers. Those who hinder others from the path of God and seek to make it crooked, and regarding the hereafter, they are in denial. These will not escape on earth, and they have no protectors besides God. The punishment will be doubled for them. They have failed to hear, and they have failed to see. Those are the ones who lost their souls, and what they had invented has strayed away from them. Without a doubt, in the hereafter, they will be the biggest losers. As for those who believe and do good deeds, and humble themselves before their Lord, these are the inhabitants of paradise, where they will abide forever. The parable of the two groups is that of the blind and the deaf, and the seeing and the hearing. Are they equal in comparison? Will you not reflect? We sent Noah to his people. I am to you a clear warner, that you shall worship none but God. I fear for you the agony of a painful day. The notables who disbelieved among his people said, We see in you nothing but a man like us, and we see that only the worst among us have followed you, those of immature judgment, and we see that you have no advantage over us. In fact, we think you are liars. He said, O oh my people, have you considered? If I stand on clear evidence from my Lord, and he has given me a mercy from himself, but you were blind to it, can we compel you to accept it, even though you dislike it? O oh, my people, I ask of you no money for it. My reward lies only with God, and I am not about to dismiss those who believed. They will surely meet their Lord, and I see that you are ignorant people. O oh, my people, who will support me against God if I dismiss them? Will you not give a thought? I do not say to you that I possess the treasures of God, nor do I know the future, nor do I say that I am an angel, nor do I say of those who are despicable in your eyes that God will never give them any good. God is aware of what lies in their souls. If I did, I would be one of the wrongdoers. They said, O oh Noah, you have argued with us and argued a great deal. Now bring upon us what you threaten us with, if you are truthful. He said, It is God who will bring it upon you if he wills, and you will not be able to escape. My advice will not benefit you much as I may want to advise you. If God desires to confound you, he is your Lord, and to him you will be returned. Or do they say he made it up? Say, if I made it up upon me falls my crime, and I am innocent of the crimes you commit. And it was revealed to Noah, none of your people will believe except those who have already believed, so do not grieve over what they do. And build the ark under our eyes, and with our inspiration, and do not address me regarding those who did wrong. They are to be drowned. As he was building the ark, whenever some of his people passed by him, they ridiculed him. He said, If you ridicule us, we will ridicule you, just as you ridicule. You will surely know upon whom will come a torment that will abase him, and upon whom will fall a lasting torment. Until when our command came and the volcano erupted, we said, board into it a pair of every kind and your family, except those against whom the sentence has already been passed, 
and those who have believed. But those who believed with him were only a few. He said, embark in it, in the name of God, shall be its sailing and its anchorage. My Lord is indeed forgiving and merciful. And so it sailed with them amidst waves like hills. And Noah called to his son, who had kept away, O oh, my son, embark with us, and do not be with the disbelievers. He said, I will take refuge on a mountain. It will protect me from the water. He said, there is no protection from God's decree today, except for him on whom he has mercy. And the waves surged between them, and he was among the drowned. And it was said, O earth, swallow your waters, and O heaven, clear up. And the waters receded, and the event was concluded, and it settled on Judy. And it was proclaimed, Away with the wicked people. And Noah called to his Lord. He said, O my Lord, my son is of my family, and your promise is true, and you are the wisest of the wise. He said, O Noah, he is not of your family. It is an unrighteous deed. So do not ask me about something you know nothing about. I admonish you, lest you be one of the ignorant. He said, O my Lord, I seek refuge with you from asking you about what I have no knowledge of. Unless you forgive me and have mercy on me, I will be one of the losers. It was said, O Noah, disembark with peace from us and with blessings upon you and upon communities from those with you and other communities we will grant prosperity and then a painful torment from us will befall them. These are some stories from the past that we reveal to you. Neither you nor your people knew them before this. So be patient. The future belongs to the pious. And to Ard, their brother Hud, he said, O oh my people, worship God. You have no other God besides him. You do nothing but invent lies. O oh my people, I ask you no wage for it. My wage lies with him who originated me. Do you not understand? O oh my people, ask forgiveness from your Lord and repent to him. He will release the sky pouring down upon you and will add strength to your strength. And do not turn away and be wicked. They said, O oh Hud, you did not bring us any evidence and we are not about to abandon our gods at your word and we are not believers in you. We only say that some of our gods have possessed you with evil. He said, I call God to witness and you to witness that I'm innocent of what you associate besides him. So scheme against me, all of you, and do not hesitate. I have placed my trust in God, my Lord and your Lord. There is not a creature, but he holds it by the forelock. My Lord is on a straight path. If you turn away, I've conveyed to you what I was sent to you with, and my Lord will replace you with another people, and you will not cause him any harm. My Lord is guardian over all things. And when our decree came, we saved Hud and those who believed with him by a mercy from us, and we delivered them from a harsh punishment. That was aid. They denied the signs of their Lord and defied his messengers and followed the lead of every stubborn tyrant. And they were pursued by a curse in this world and on the day of resurrection. Indeed, Ard blasphemed against their Lord. So away with Ard, the people of Hud, and to Thamud, their brother Saleh. He said, O oh my people, worship God. You have no God other than him. He initiated you from the earth and settled you in it. So seek his forgiveness and repent to him. My Lord is near and responsive. He said, O oh Saleh, we had hopes in you before this. Are you trying to prevent us from worshipping what our parents worship? We are in serious doubt regarding what you are calling us to. He said, O oh my people, have you considered if I stand upon clear evidence from my Lord and he has given me mercy from him, who would protect me from God if I disobeyed him? You add nothing for me except loss. O oh my people, this is the she-camel of God, a sign for you. Let her graze on God's land and do not harm her lest an imminent punishment overtakes you. 
but they hamstrung her, and so he said, enjoy yourselves in your homes for three days. This is a prophecy that is infallible. Then, when our command came, we saved Saleh and those who believed with him by a mercy from us, from the disgrace of that day. Your Lord is the strong, the mighty. And the screams struck those who transgressed, and they became motionless bodies in their homes, as if they had never prospered therein. Indeed, Thamud rejected their Lord, so away with Thamud. Our messengers came to Abraham with good news. They said, Peace. He said, Peace. Soon after, he came with a roasted calf. But when he saw their hands not reaching towards it, he became suspicious of them and conceived a fear of them. They said, Do not fear. We were sent to the people of Lot. His wife was standing by, so she laughed, and we gave her good news of Isaac. And after Isaac, Jacob. She said, Alas for me, shall I give birth when I am an old woman? And this, my husband, is an old man. This is truly a strange thing. They said, Do you marvel at the decree of God? The mercy and blessings of God are upon you, O people of the house. He is praiseworthy and glorious. When Abraham's fear subsided and the good news had reached him, he started pleading with us concerning the people of Lot. Abraham was gentle, kind, penitent. O oh, Abraham, refrain from this. The command of your Lord has come. They have incurred an irreversible punishment. And when our envoys came to Lot, he was anxious for them and concerned for them. He said, This is a dreadful day and his people came rushing towards him. They were in the habit of committing sins, he said. O oh, my people, these are my daughters. They are purer for you. So fear God, and do not embarrass me before my guests. Is there not one reasonable man among you? Um they said, you know well that we have no right to your daughters, and you know well what we want. He said, if only I had the strength to stop you or could rely on some strong support. They said, O oh Lot, we are the envoys of your Lord. They will not reach you. So set out with your family during the cover of the night and let none of you look back except for your wife. She will be struck by what will strike them. Their appointed time is the morning, is not the morning near. And when our command came about, we turned it upside down, and we rained down on it stones of baked clay, marked from your Lord, and never far from the wrongdoers. And to Median, their brother Shuaib, he said, O oh, my people, worship God. You have no God other than him, and do not short measure or short weight. I see you in good circumstances, but I fear for you the agony of an encompassing day. O oh, my people, give full measure and full weight in all fairness, and do not cheat the people out of their rights, and do not spread corruption in the land. What is left by God is best for you, if you are believers, and I am not a guardian over you. They said, O oh, Shuaib, does your prayer command you that we abandon what our ancestors worshipped, or doing with our wealth what we want? You are the one who is intelligent and wise. He said, O oh my people, have you considered? What if I have clear evidence from my Lord, and he has given me good livelihood from himself? I have no desire to do what I forbid you from doing. I desire nothing but reform, as far as I can. My success lies only with God. In him I trust, and to him I turn. O oh, my people, let not your hostility towards me cause you to suffer what was suffered by the people of Noah, or the people of Hud, or the people of Saleh. The people of Lot are not far away from you. And ask your Lord for forgiveness, and repent to him. My Lord is merciful and loving. They said, O oh, Shweib, we do not understand much of what you say, and we see that you are weak among us. Were it not for your tribe, we would have stoned you. You are of no value to us. He said, O oh my people, is my tribe more important to you than God? And you have turned your backs on him. My Lord comprehends everything you do. 
Oh, my people, do as you may, and so will I. You will know to whom will come a punishment that will shame him, and who is a liar. So look out. I'm on the lookout with you. And when our command came, we saved Shwib and those who believed with him by mercy from us, and the blast struck the wrongdoers, and they became motionless bodies in their homes, as though they never flourished therein, away with Midian, as was done away with Thamud. And we sent Moses with our signs and a clear mandate to Pharaoh and his nobles, but they followed the command of Pharaoh, and the command of Pharaoh was not wise. He will precede his people on the day of resurrection and will lead them into the fire. Miserable is the place he placed them in. They were followed by a curse in this and on the day of resurrection. Miserable is the path they followed. These are of the reports of the towns. We relate them to you. Some are still standing and some have withered away. We did not wrong them, but they wronged themselves. Their gods, whom they invoke besides God, availed them nothing when the command of your Lord arrived. In fact, they added only to their ruin. Such is the grip of your Lord when he seizes the towns in the midst of their sins. His grip is most painful, most severe. In that is a sign for whoever fears the punishment of the hereafter. That is a day for which humanity will be gathered together. That is a day to be witnessed. We only postpone it until a predetermined time. On the day when it arrives, no soul will speak without his permission. Some will be miserable and some will be happy. As for those who are miserable, they will be in the fire. They will have therein sighing and wailing, remaining therein for as long as the heavens and the earth endure, except as your Lord wills. Your Lord is doer of whatever he wills. And as for those who are happy, they will be in paradise, remaining therein for as long as the heavens and the earth endure, except as your Lord wills, a reward without end. So be not in doubt regarding what these people worship. They worship only as their ancestors worshiped before. We will pay them their due in full without any reduction. We gave Moses the scripture, but it was disputed. Were it not for a prior word from your Lord, it would have been settled between them. They are in serious doubt concerning it. Your Lord will repay each one of them in full for their deeds. He is aware of everything they do. So be upright as you are commanded, along with those who repented with you and do not transgress. He is seeing of everything you do. And do not incline towards those who do wrong, or the fire may touch you, and you will have no protectors besides God, and you will not be saved. Perform the prayer at the borders of the day and during the approaches of the night. The good deeds take away the bad deeds. This is a reminder for those who remember. And be patient. God will not waste the reward of the virtuous. If only there were among the generations before you people with wisdom who spoke against corruption on earth, except for the few whom we saved. But the wrongdoers pursued the luxuries they were indulged in and thus became guilty. Your Lord would never destroy the towns wrongfully while their inhabitants are righteous. Had your Lord willed, he could have made humanity one community, but they continue to differ, except those on whom your Lord has mercy. For that reason, he created them. The word of your Lord is final. I will fill hell with jinn and humans all together. Everything we narrate to you of the history of the messengers is to strengthen your heart therewith. The truth has come to you in this and a lesson and a reminder for the believers. And say to those who do not believe, act according to your ability and so will we. And wait, we too are waiting. To God belongs the future of the heavens and the earth, and to him all authority goes back. So worship him and rely on him. Your Lord is never unaware of what you do. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, the leaf, lamb, ray, these are the verses of the clear book. 
we have revealed it in Arabic Quran so that you may understand. We narrate to you the most accurate history by revealing to you this Quran, although prior to it, you were of the unaware. When Joseph said to his father, O oh my father, I saw eleven planets and the sun and the moon. I saw them bowing down to me. He said, O oh my son, do not relate your vision to your brothers, lest they plot and scheme against you. Satan is man's sworn enemy, and thus your Lord will choose you and will teach you the interpretation of events, and will complete his blessing upon you and upon the family of Jacob, as he has completed it before upon your forefathers Abraham and Isaac. Your Lord is knowing and wise. In Joseph and his brothers are lessons for the seekers. When they said, Joseph and his brother are dearer to our father than we are, although we are a whole group, our father is obviously in the wrong. Kill Joseph or throw him somewhere in the land and your father's attention will be yours. Afterwards, you will be decent people. One of them said, do not kill Joseph, but throw him into the bottom of the well. Some caravan may pick him up if you must do something. They said, Father, why do you not trust us with Joseph, although we care for him? Send him with us tomorrow that he may roam and play. We will take care of him. He said, it worries me that you would take him away, and I fear the wolf may eat him while you are careless of him. They said, if the wolf ate him and we are many, we would be good for nothing. So they went away with him and agreed to put him at the bottom of the well. And we inspired him. You will inform them of this deed of theirs when they are unaware. And they came to their father in the evening, weeping. They said, Oh, father, we went off racing one another and left Joseph by our belongings, and the wolf ate him. But you will not believe us, even though we are being truthful. And they brought his shirt with fake blood on it. He said, Your souls enticed you to do something. But patience is beautiful and God is my help against what you describe. A caravan passed by and they sent their water carrier. He lowered his bucket and said, Good news, here is a boy. And they hid him as merchandise. But God was aware of what they did and they sold him for a cheap price, a few coins. They considered him to be of little value. The Egyptian who bought him said to his wife, take good care of him. He may be useful to us, or we may adopt him as a son. We thus established Joseph in the land to teach him the interpretation of events. God has control over his affairs, but most people do not know. When he reached his maturity, we gave him wisdom and knowledge. We thus reward the righteous. She, in whose house he was living, tried to seduce him. She shut the doors and said, I am yours. He said, God forbid, he is my Lord. He has given me a good home. Sinners never succeed. She desired him and he desired her, had he not seen the proof of his Lord. It was thus that we diverted evil and indecency away from him. He was one of our loyal servants. As they raced towards the door, she tore his shirt from behind. At the door, they ran into her husband. She said, what is the penalty for him who desired to dishonor your wife, except imprisonment or a painful punishment? She he said, it was she who tried to seduce me. A witness from her household suggested, if his shirt is torn from the front, then she has told the truth and he is the liar. But if his shirt is torn from the back, then she has lied and he is the truthful. And when he saw that his shirt was torn from the back, he said, this is a woman's scheme. Your scheming is serious indeed. Joseph, turn away from this and you woman ask forgiveness for your sin. You are indeed in the wrong. Some ladies in the city said, the governor's wife is trying to seduce her servant. She is deeply in love with him. We see she has gone astray. And when she heard of their gossip, she invited them. 
and prepared for them a banquet, and she gave each one of them a knife. She said, come out before them. And when they saw him, they marveled at him and cut their hands. They said, good God, this is not a human. This must be a precious angel. She said, here he is, the one you blamed me for. I did try to seduce him, but he resisted. But if he does not do what I tell him to do, he will be imprisoned and will be one of the despised. He said, my lord, prison is more desirable to me than what they call me to. Unless you turn their scheming away from me, I may yield to them and become one of the ignorant. Thereupon his lord answered him and diverted their scheming away from him. He is the hearer, the knower. Then it occurred to them after they had seen the signs to imprison him for a while. Two youth entered the prison with him. One of them said, I see myself pressing wine. The other said, I see myself carrying bread on my head from which the birds are eating. Tell us their interpretation. We see that you're one of the righteous. But he said, no food is served to you, but I have informed you about it before you have received it. That is some of what my Lord has taught me. I have forsaken the tradition of people who do not believe in God, and regarding the hereafter, they are deniers. And I have followed the faith of my forefathers, Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. It is not for us to associate anything with God. This is by virtue of God's grace upon us and upon the people. But most people do not give thanks. O oh, my fellow inmates, a diverse lords, better, or God, the one, the supreme. You do not worship besides him except names you have named, you and your ancestors, for which God has sent down no authority. Judgment belongs to none but God. He has commanded that you worship none but him. This is the right religion, but most people do not know. It's my fellow inmates. One of you will serve his master wine, while the other will be crucified, and the birds will eat from his head. Thus, the matter you are inquiring about is settled. And he said to the one he thought would be released, Mention me to your master. But Satan caused him to forget mentioning him to his master, so he remained in prison for several years. The king said, Seen seven fat cows being eaten by seven lean ones, and seven green spikes, and others dried up. O oh, elders, explain to me my vision, if you are able to interpret visions. They said, jumbles of dreams, and we know nothing of the interpretation of dreams. The one who was released said, having remembered after a time, I will inform you of its interpretation, so send me out. Joseph, O oh man of truth, inform us concerning seven fat cows being eaten by seven lean ones and seven green spikes and others dried up so that I may return to the people so that they may know. He said, you will farm for seven consecutive years, but whatever you harvest, leave it in its spikes, except for the little that you eat. Then after that will come seven difficult ones, which will consume what you have stored for them, except for the little that you have preserved. Then after that will come a year that brings relief to the people, and during which they will press. The king said, Bring him to me. Uh, and when the envoy came to him, he said, Go back to your master and ask him about the intentions of the women who cut their hands. My lord is well aware of their schemes. He said, What was the matter with you women when you tried to seduce Joseph? They said, God forbid. We knew of no evil committed by him. The governor's wife then said, now the truth is out. It was I who tried to seduce him, and he is telling the truth. This is that he may know that I did not betray him in secret, and that God does not guide the scheming of the betrayers. Yet I do not claim to be innocent. 
The soul commands evil, except those on whom my Lord has mercy. Truly my Lord is forgiving and merciful. The king said, Bring him to me, and I will reserve him for myself. And when he spoke to him, he said, This day you are with us, established and secure. He said, Put me in charge of the storehouses of the land. I am honest and knowledgeable. And thus we established Joseph in the land to live therein wherever he wished. We touch with our mercy whomever we will, and we never waste the reward of the righteous. But the reward of the hereafter is better for those who believe and observed piety. And Joseph's brothers came and entered into his presence. He recognized them, but they did not recognize him. When he provided them with their provisions, he said, Be Bring me a brother of yours from your father. Do you not see that I fill up the measure and I'm the best of hosts? But if you do not bring him to me, you will have no measure from me and you will not come near me. They said, We will solicit him from his father. We will surely do. He said to his servants, put their goods in their saddlebags. Perhaps they will recognize them when they return to their families, and maybe they will come back. When they returned to their father, they said, O oh, father, we were denied measure, but send our brother with us, and we will obtain measure. We will take care of him. He said, Shall I trust you with him, as I trusted you with his brother before? God is the best guardian, and he is the most merciful of the merciful. And when they opened their baggage, they found that their goods were returned to them. They said, Father, what more do we want? Here are our goods returned to us. We will provide for our family and protect our brother and have an additional camel load. This is easy commerce. He said, I will not send him with you unless you give me a pledge before God that you will bring him back to me unless you get trapped. And when they gave him their pledge, he said, God is witness to what we say. And he said, O oh, my sons, do not enter by one gate, but enter by different gates. I cannot avail you anything against God. The decision rests only with God. On him I rely and on him let the reliant rely. And when they entered as their father had instructed them, it did not avail them anything against God. It was just a need in the soul of Jacob which he carried out. He was a person of knowledge inasmuch as we had taught him, but most people do not know. And when they entered into the presence of Joseph, he embraced his brother and said, I am your brother. Do not be saddened by what they used to do. Then, when he provided them with their provisions, he placed the drinking cup in his brother's saddlebag. Then an announcer called out, O oh, people of the caravan, you are thieves. They said as they came towards them, What are you missing? They said, We are missing the king's goblet. Whoever brings it will have a camel load, and I personally guarantee it they said by god you know we did not come to cause trouble in the land and we are not thieves they said what shall be his punishment if you are lying they said his punishment if it is found in his bag he will belong to you thus we penalize the guilty so he began with their bags before his brother's bag. Then he pulled it out of his brother's bag. Thus, we devised a plan for Joseph. He could not have detained his brother under the king's law unless God so willed. We elevate by degrees whomever we will, and above every person of knowledge, there is one more learned. They said, if he has stolen a brother of his, has stolen before. But Joseph kept it to himself and did not reveal it to them. He said, you are in a worse situation and God is aware of what you allege. 
They said, O oh, noble prince, he has a father, a very old man, so take one of us in his place. We see that you are a good person. He said, Ah, God forbid that we should arrest anyone except him in whose possession we found our property, for then we would be unjust. And when they despaired of him, they conferred privately. Their eldest said, Don't you know that your father received a pledge from you before God, and in the past you failed with regard to Joseph? I will not leave this land until my father permits me, or God decides for me, for he is the best of deciders. Go back to your father and say, Our father, your son, has stolen. We testify only to what we know, and we could not have prevented the unforeseen. Ask the town where we were and the caravan in which we came. We are being truthful. He said, rather your souls have contrived something for you. Patience is a virtue. Perhaps God will bring them all back to me. He is the knowing, the wise. Then he turned away from them and said, O oh, my bitterness for Joseph, and his eyes turned white from sorrow, and he became depressed. They said, By God, you will not stop remembering Joseph until you have ruined your health or you have passed away. He said, I only complain of my grief and sorrow to God, and I know from God what you do not know. O oh, my sons, go and inquire about Joseph and his brother, and do not despair of God's comfort. None despairs of God's comfort except the disbelieving people. Then, when they entered into his presence, they said, Mighty Governor, adversity has befallen us and our family. We have brought scant merchandise, but give us full measure and be charitable towards us. God rewards the charitable. He said, do you realize what you did with Joseph and his brother in your ignorance? They said, is that you, Joseph? He said, I am Joseph, and this is my brother. God has been gracious to us. He who practices piety and patience, God never fails to reward the righteous. They said, by God, God has preferred you over us. We were definitely in the wrong. He said, there is no blame upon you today. God will forgive you. He is the most merciful of the merciful. Take this shirt of mine and lay it over my father's face and he will recover his sight and bring your whole family to me. As the caravan set out, their father said, I sense the presence of Joseph, though you may think I am senile. They said, Dad, by God, you're still in your old confusion. Then, when the bearer of good news arrived, he laid it over his face and he regained his sight. He said, Did I not say to you that I know from God what you do not know? They said, For Father, pray for the forgiveness of our sins. We were indeed at fault. He said, I will ask my Lord to forgive you. He is the forgiver, the most merciful. Then when they entered into the presence of Joseph, he embraced his parents and said, Enter Egypt, God willing, safe and secure. And he elevated his parents on the throne, and they fell prostrate before him. He said, Father, this is the fulfillment of my vision of long ago. My Lord has made it come true. He has blessed me when he released me from prison and brought you out of the wilderness after the devil had sown conflict between me and my brothers. My Lord is most kind towards whomever he wills. He is the all-knowing, the most wise. My Lord, you have given me some authority and taught me some interpretation of events, initiator of the heavens and the earth. You are my protector in this life and in the hereafter. Receive my soul in submission and unite me with the righteous. This is news from the past that we reveal to you. You were not present with them when they plotted and agreed on a plan. But most people, for all your eagerness, are not believers. You ask them no wage for it. It is only a reminder for all mankind. 
How many a sign in the heavens and the earth do they pass by, paying no attention to them? And most of them do not believe in God unless they associate others. Do they feel secure that a covering of God's punishment will not come upon them, or that the hour will not come upon them suddenly while they are unaware? Say, this is my way I invite to God, based on clear knowledge. I and whoever follows me, glory be to God, and I am not of the polytheists. We did not send before you except men, whom we inspired from the people of the towns. Have they not roamed the earth and seen the consequences for those before them? The home of the hereafter is better for those who are righteous. Do you not understand? Until when the messengers have despaired and thought that they were rejected, our help came to them. We save whomever we will, and our severity is not averted from the guilty people. In their stories is a lesson for those who possess intelligence. This is not a fabricated tale, but a confirmation of what came before it, and a detailed explanation of all things, and guidance and mercy for people who believe. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, the leaf, lamb, meme, ra, these are the signs of the scripture. What is revealed to you from your Lord is the truth, but most people do not believe. God is he who raised the heavens without pillars that you can see, and then settled on the throne. And he regulated the sun and the moon, each running for a specified period. He manages all affairs, and he explains the signs, that you may be certain of the meeting with your Lord. And it is he who spread the earth and placed in it mountains and rivers. And he placed in it two kinds of every fruit. He causes the night to overlap the day. In that are signs for people who reflect. On earth are adjacent terrains and gardens of vines and crops and date palms from the same root or from distinct roots irrigated with the same water. We make some taste better than others. In that are proofs for people who reason. Should you wonder, the real wonder is their saying, when we have become dust, will we be in a new creation? Those are they who defied their Lord. Those are they who will have yokes around their necks. Those are the inhabitants of the fire where they will remain forever. And they urge you to hasten evil before good though examples have passed away before them. Your Lord is full of forgiveness towards the people for their wrongdoings, yet your Lord is severe in retribution. Those who disbelieve say, why was a miracle not sent down to him from his Lord? You are only a warner, and to every community is a guide. God knows what every female bears and every increase and decrease of the wombs. With him, everything is by measure. The Noah, of the invisible and the visible, the grand, the supreme. It is the same whether one of you conceals his speech or declares it, whether he goes into hiding by night or goes out by day. He has a succession before him and behind him protecting him by God's command. God does not change the condition of a people until they change what is within themselves. And if God wills any hardship for a people, there is no turning it back. And apart from him, they have no protector. It is he who shows you the lightning, causing fear and hope. And he produces the heavy clouds. The thunder praises his glory, and so do the angels, in awe of him. And he sends the thunderbolts, striking with them whomever he wills. Yet they argue about God while he is tremendous in might. To him belongs the call to truth. Those they call upon besides him do not respond to them with anything, except as someone who stretches his hands towards water so that it may reach his mouth, but it does not reach it. The prayers of the unbelievers are only in vain. 
to God prostrates everyone in the heavens and the earth, willingly or unwillingly, as do their shadows, in the morning and in the evening. Say, who's the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Say, God. Say, have you taken besides him protectors who have no power to profit or harm even themselves? Say, are the blind and the seeing equal? Or are darkness and light equal? Or have they assigned to God associates who created the likes of his creation, so that the creation seemed to them alike? Say, God is the creator of all things, and he is the one, the irresistible. He sends down water from the sky, and riverbeds flow according to their capacity. The current carries swelling froth, and from what they heat in fire of ornaments or utensils comes a similar froth. Thus, God exemplifies truth and falsehood. As for the froth, it is swept away, but what benefits the people remains in the ground. Thus, God presents the analogies. For those who respond to their Lord is the best, but as for those who do not respond to him, even if they possessed everything on earth and twice as much, they could not redeem themselves with it. Those will have the worst reckoning, and their home is hell, a miserable destination. Is he who knows that what was revealed to you from your Lord is the truth, like him who is blind? Only those who reason will remember, those who fulfill the promise to God and do not violate the agreement, and those who join what God has commanded to be joined and fear their Lord and dread the dire reckoning, and those who patiently seek the presence of their Lord and pray regularly and spend from our provisions to them secretly and openly and repel evil with good. These will have the ultimate home everlasting gardens which they will enter along with the righteous among their parents and their spouses and their descendants, and the angels will enter upon them from every gate. Peace be upon you because you endured patiently. How excellent is the final home. As for those who violate the promise to God after pledging to keep it, and sever what God has commanded to be joined and spread corruption on earth. These, the curse will be upon them and they will have the worst home. God dispenses the provisions to whomever he wills and restricts, and they delight in the worldly life. Yet the worldly life compared to the hereafter is only enjoyment. Those who disbelieve say, if only a miracle was sent down to him from his Lord. Say, God leads astray whomever he wills, and he guides to himself whoever repents. Those who believe and whose hearts find comfort in the remembrance of God. Surely it is in the remembrance of God that hearts find comfort. For those who believe and do righteous deeds, for them is happiness and a beautiful return. Thus, we sent you among a community before which other communities have passed away, that you may recite to them what we revealed to you. Yet they deny the benevolent one, say, He is my Lord. There is no God but He. In Him I trust, and to Him is my repentance. Even if there were a Quran by which mountains could be set in motion or by which the earth could be shattered or by which the dead could be made to speak. In fact, every decision rests with God. Did the believers not give up and realize that had God willed, he would have guided all humanity? Disasters will continue to strike those who disbelieve because of their deeds or they fall near their homes until God's promise comes true. God never breaks a promise. Messengers before you were ridiculed, but I granted the disbelievers respite, and then I seized them. What a punishment it was. Is he who is watchful over the deeds of every soul, yet they ascribe associates to God. Say, name them, or are you informing him of something on earth he does not know, or is it a show of words? 
In fact, the scheming of those who disbelieve is made to appear good to them, and they are averted from the path. Whomever God misguides has no guide. There is for them torment in the worldly life, but the torment of the hereafter is harsher, and they have no defender against God. The likeness of the garden promised to the righteous, rivers flowing beneath it, its food is perpetual, and so is its shade. Such is the sequel for those who guard against evil, but the sequel of the disbelievers is the fire. Those to whom we gave the scripture rejoice in what was revealed to you, while some factions reject parts of it. Say, I am commanded to worship God and to never associate anything with him. To him I invite, and to him is my return. Thus we revealed it an Arabic code of law. Were you to follow their desires after the knowledge that has come to you, you would have neither ally nor defender against God. We sent messengers before you, and we assigned for them wives and offspring. No messenger could bring a sign except with the permission of God. For every era is a scripture. God abolishes whatever he wills, and he affirms, with him is the source of the scripture. Whether we show you some of what we have promised them, or we cause you to die, your duty is to inform, and ours is the reckoning. Do they not see how we deal with the earth, diminishing it at its edges? God judges, and nothing can hold back his judgment, and he is quick to settle accounts, those before them planned, but the entire plan is up to God. He knows what every soul earns. Those who disbelieve will know to whom the ultimate home is. Those who disbelieve say, you are not a messenger. Say, God is a sufficient witness between me and you, and whoever has knowledge of the scripture. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, a leaf, lamb, rai, a scripture that we reveal to you, that you may bring humanity from darkness to light, with the permission of their Lord to the path of the Almighty, the praiseworthy. God, to whom belongs what is in the heavens and the earth, and woe to the disbelievers from a severe torment, those who prefer the present life to the hereafter, and repel from the path of God, and seek to make it crooked, these are far astray. We never sent any messenger except in the language of his people to make things clear for them. God leads astray whom he wills and guides whom he wills. He is the mighty, the wise. We sent Moses with our signs, bring your people out of darkness into light and remind them of the days of God. In that are signs for every patient and thankful person. Moses said to his people, remember God's blessings upon you as he delivered you from the people of Pharaoh who inflicted on you terrible suffering, slaughtering your sons while sparing your daughters. In that was a serious trial from your Lord. And when your Lord proclaimed, if you give thanks, I will grant you increase. But if you are ungrateful, my punishment is severe. And Moses said, even if you are ungrateful, together with everyone on earth, God is in no need, worthy of praise. Has not the story reached you of those before you, the people of Noah and Ad and Thamud and those after them? None knows them except God. Their messengers came to them with the clear proofs, but they tried to silence them and said, we reject what you are sent with, and we are in serious doubt regarding what you are calling us to. Their messenger said, is there any doubt about God, maker of the heavens and the earth? He calls you to forgive you your sins and to defer you until a stated term. They said, you are only humans like us. You want to turn us away from what our ancestors worshipped, so bring us a clear proof. Their messengers said to them, we are only humans like you. 
but God favors whomever he wills from among his servants. We cannot possibly show you any proof except by leave of God. In God, let the faithful put their trust. And why should we not trust in God when he has guided us in our ways? We will persevere in the face of your persecution. And upon God, the reliant should rely. Those who disbelieved said to their messengers, We will expel you from our land unless you return to our religion. And their Lord inspired them. We will destroy the wrongdoers. And we will settle you in the land after them. That is for him who fears my majesty and fears my threats. And they prayed for victory, and every stubborn tyrant came to disappointment. Beyond him lies hell, and he will be given to drink putrid water. He will guzzle it, but he will not swallow it. Death will come at him from every direction, but he will not die. And beyond this is relentless suffering. The likeness of those who disbelieve in their Lord, their works are like ashes in a fierce wind on a stormy day. They have no control over anything they have earned. That is the utmost misguidance. Do you not see that God created the heavens and the earth with truth? If he wills, he can do away with you and bring a new creation. And that is not difficult for God. They will emerge before God altogether. The weak will say to those who were proud, we were your followers. Can you protect us at all against God's punishment? They will say, had God guided us, we would have guided you. It is the same for us, whether we mourn or are patient, there is no asylum for us. And Satan will say, when the issue is settled, God has promised you the promise of truth. And I promised you, but I failed you. I had no authority over you, except that I called you, and you answered me. So do not blame me, but blame yourselves. I cannot come to your aid, nor can you come to my aid. I reject your associating with me in the past. The wrongdoers will have a torment most painful. But those who believed and did good deeds will be admitted into gardens beneath which rivers flow to remain therein forever by leave of their Lord. Their greeting therein will be peace. Do you not see how God presents a parable? A good word is like a good tree. Its root is firm and its branches are in the sky. It yields its fruits every season by the will of its Lord. God presents the parables to the people so that they may reflect. And the parable of a bad word is that of a bad tree. It is uprooted from the ground. It has no stability. God gives firmness to those who believe with a firm word in this life and in the hereafter. And God leads the wicked astray. God does whatever he wills. Have you not seen those who exchanged the blessing of God with blasphemy and landed their people into the house of perdition? Hell! They will roast in it. What a miserable settlement. And they set up rivals to God in order to lead away from his path. Say, enjoy yourselves. Your destination is the fire. Tell my servants who have believed to perform the prayers and to give from what we have given them secretly and publicly before a day comes in which there is neither trading nor friendship. God is he who created the heavens and the earth and sends down water from the sky and with it produces fruits for your sustenance. And he committed the ships to your service, sailing through the sea by his command. And he committed the rivers to your service. And he committed the sun and the moon to your service, both continuously pursuing their courses and he committed the night and the day to your service. And he has given you something of all what you asked. And if you were to count God's blessings, you would not be able to enumerate them. The human being is unfair and ungrateful. Recall that Abraham said, O oh my Lord, make this land peaceful and keep me and my sons from worshipping idols. My Lord, they have led many people astray. 
Whoever follows me belongs with me, and whoever disobeys me, you are forgiving and merciful. Our Lord, I have settled some of my offspring in a valley of no vegetation by your sacred house, our Lord, so that they may perform the prayers. So make the hearts of some people incline towards them and provide them with fruits that they may be thankful. Our Lord, you know what we conceal and what we reveal. And nothing is hidden from God on earth or in the heaven. Praise be to God, who has given me in my old age, Ishmael and Isaac. My Lord is the hearer of prayers. My Lord, make me one who performs the prayer and from my offspring. Our Lord, accept my supplication. Our Lord, forgive me and my parents and the believers on the day the reckoning takes place. Do not ever think that God is unaware of what the wrongdoers do. He only defers them until a day when the sights stare, their necks outstretched, their heads upraised, their gaze unblinking, their hearts void, and warn mankind of the day when the punishment will come upon them, and the wicked will say, Our Lord, defer us for a little while, and we will answer your call and follow the messengers. Did you not swear before? that there will be no passing away for you. And you inhabited the homes of those who wronged themselves, and it became clear to you how we dealt with them, and we cited for you the examples. They planned their plans, but their plans are known to God, even if their plans can eliminate mountains. Do not ever think that God will break his promise to his messengers. God is strong, able to avenge. On the day when the earth is changed into another earth and the heavens, and they will emerge before God, the One, the Irresistible. On that day, you will see the sinners bound together in chains, their garments made of tar and the fire covering their faces, that God may repay each soul according to what it has earned. God is quick in reckoning. This is a proclamation for mankind, that they may be warned thereby, and know that He is one God, and that people of understanding may remember. The name of God, the gracious, the merciful, the leaf, lamb, ra, these are the verses of the book, a Quran that makes things clear. Perhaps those who disbelieve will wish they had been Muslims. Leave them to eat and enjoy, and be lulled by hope. They will find out. We have never destroyed a town unless it had a set time. So nation can bring its time forward, nor can they delay it. And they said, O oh, you who received the message, you are insane. Why do you not bring us the angels if you are truthful? We do not send the angels down except with reason, and they will not be held back. Surely we revealed the message, and we will surely preserve it. We sent others before you to the former communities, but no messenger came to them, but they ridiculed him. Thus we slip it into the hearts of the guilty. They do not believe in it, though the ways of the ancients have passed away. Even if we opened for them a gateway into the sky, and they began to ascend through it, but they would still say, our eyes are hallucinating. In fact, we are people bewitched. We placed constellations in the sky and made them beautiful to the beholders. And we guarded them from every outcast devil, except one who steals a hearing and is followed by a visible projectile. We spread the earth and placed stabilizers in it, and in it we grew all things in proper measure. And in it, we created livelihoods for you, and for those for whom you are not the providers. There is not a thing, but with us are its stores, and we send it down only in precise measure. We send the fertilizing winds, and send down water from the sky, and give it to you to drink, and you are not the ones who store it. It is we who give life and cause death, and we are the inheritors. And we know those of you who go forward, and we know those who lag behind. It is your Lord who will gather them together. He is the wise, the knowing. 
we created the human being from clay, from molded mud, and the jinn we created before from piercing fire. Your Lord said to the angels, I am creating a human being from clay, from molded mud. When I have formed him and breathed into him of my spirit, fall down prostrating before him. So the angels prostrated themselves all together, except for Satan. He refused to be among those who prostrated themselves. He said, O oh, Satan, what kept you from being among those who prostrated themselves? He said, I'm not about to prostrate myself before a human being whom you created from clay, from molded mud. He said, then get out of here, for you are an outcast, and the curse will be upon you until the day of judgment. He said, my Lord, reprieve me until the day they are resurrected. He said, you are of those reprieved until the day of the time appointed. She said, My Lord, since you have lured me away, I will glamorize for them on earth, and I will lure them all away, except for your sincere servants among them. He said, This is a right way with me. Over my servants you have no authority, except for the sinners who follow you. And hell is the meeting place for them all. It has seven doors, for each door is an assigned class. But the righteous will be in gardens with springs. Enter it in peace and security, and we will remove all ill feelings from their hearts, brothers and sisters, on couches facing one another. No fatigue will ever touch them therein, nor will they be asked to leave it. Inform my servants that I am the forgiver, the merciful, and that my punishment is the painful punishment and inform them of the guests of Abraham. When they entered upon him and said, Peace, he said, We are, we are weary of you. They said, Do not fear, we bring you good news of a boy endowed with knowledge. He said, Do you bring me good news when old age has overtaken me? What good news do you bring? They said, we bring you good news in truth, so do not despair. He said, and who despairs of his Lord's mercy but the lost? He said, so what is your business, O envoys? They said, we were sent to a sinful people, except for the family of Lot. We will save them all, except for his wife. We have determined that she will be of those who lag behind. And when the envoys came to the family of Lot, he said, You are a people unknown to me. They said, We bring you what they have doubts about. We bring you the truth, and we are truthful. Travel with your family at the dead of the night and follow up behind them, and let none of you look back and proceed as commanded. And we informed him of our decree. The last remnant of these will be uprooted by early morning. And the people of the town came joyfully. He said, these are my guests, so do not embarrass me. And fear God, and do not disgrace me. They said, did we not forbid you from strangers? He said, these are my daughters, if you must. By your life, they were blundering in their drunkenness. So the blast struck them at sunrise, and we turned it upside down, and rained down upon them stones of baked clay. Surely in that are lessons for those who read signs. And it is on an existing road. Surely in that is a sign for the believers. The people of the woods were also wrongdoers. So we took revenge upon them. Both are clearly documented. The people of the rock also rejected the messengers. We gave them our revelations, but they turned away from them. They used to carve homes in the mountains, feeling secure, but the blast struck them in the morning. All they had acquired was of no avail to them. We did not create the heavens and the earth and what lies between them, except with truth. 
the hour is coming. So forgive with gracious forgiveness. Your Lord is the all-knowing creator. We have given you seven of the pairs and the Grand Quran. Do not extend your eyes towards what we have bestowed on some couples of them to enjoy, and do not grieve over them, and lower your wing to the believers, and say, I am the clear warner. Just as we sent down to the separatists and those who made the Quran obsolete, by your Lord we will question them all about what they used to do, so proclaim openly what you are commanded and turn away from the polytheists. We are enough for you against the mockers, those who set up another god with God. They will come to know. We are aware that your heart is strained by what they say. So glorify the praise of your Lord and be among those who bow down and worship your Lord in order to attain certainty in the name of God, the gracious, the merciful. The command of God has come, so do not rush it. Glory be to him, exalted above what they associate. He sends down the angels with the spirit by his command, upon whom he wills of his servants. Give warning that there is no God but me and fear me. He created the heavens and the earth with justice. He is exalted above the associations they attribute. He created the human being from a drop of fluid, yet he becomes an open adversary. And the livestock, he created them for you. In them are warmth and benefits for you, and of them you eat. And there is beauty in them for you when you bring them home, and when you drive them to pasture and they carry your loads to territory you could not have reached without great hardship. Your Lord is clement and merciful, and the horses and the mules and the donkeys for you to ride and for luxury, and he creates what you do not know. It is for God to point out the paths, but some of them are flawed. Had he willed, he could have guided you all. It is he who sends down for you from the sky water. From it is drink, and with it grows vegetation for grazing. And he produces for you grains with it, and olives, and date palms, and grapes, and all kinds of fruits. Surely in that is a sign for people who think. And he regulated for you the night and the day, and the sun and the moon and the stars are disposed by his command. Surely in that are signs for people who ponder, and whatsoever he created for you on earth is of diverse colors. Surely in that is a sign for people who are mindful. And it is he who made the sea to serve you, that you may eat from it tender meat, and extract from it ornaments that you wear. And you see the ships plowing through it as you seek his bounties, so that you may give thanks. And he cast mountains on the earth, lest it shifts with you, and rivers, and roads so that you may be guided, and landmarks, and by the stars they guide themselves. Is he who creates like him who does not create? Will you not take a lesson? And if you tried to enumerate the favors of God, you will not be able to count them. God is forgiving and merciful, and God knows what you hide and what you disclose. Those they invoke besides God create nothing, but are themselves created. They are dead, not alive, and they do not know when they will be resurrected. Your God is one God. As for those who do not believe in the hereafter, their hearts are in denial, and they are arrogant. Without a doubt, God knows what they conceal and what they reveal. He does not like the arrogant. And when it's said to them, what has your Lord sent down? They say, legends of the ancients. So let them carry their loads complete on the day of resurrection. And some of the loads of those they misguided without knowledge. Evil is what they carry. But those before them also schemed, but God took their structures from the foundations and the roof caved in on them. The punishment came at them from where they did not perceive. Then, on the day of resurrection, he will disgrace them and say, 
Where are my associates for whose sake you used to dispute? Those who were given knowledge will say, Today, shame and misery are upon the disbelievers. Those wronging their souls, while the angels are taking them away, they will propose peace. We did no wrong. Yes, you did. God is aware of what you used to do. Enter the gates of hell to dwell therein forever. Miserable is the residence of the arrogant, and it will be said to those who maintain piety, What has your Lord revealed? They will say, Goodness to those who do good in this world is goodness, and the home of the hereafter is even better. How wonderful is the residence of the pious, the gardens of perpetuity, which they will enter, beneath which rivers flow, where they will have whatever they desire. Thus, God rewards the pious. Those who are in a wholesome state when the angels take them will say, Peace be upon you, enter paradise, for what you used to do. Are they but waiting for the angels to come to them, or for the command of your Lord to arrive? Those before them did likewise. God did not wrong them, but they used to wrong their own souls. So the evils of their deeds assailed them, and what they used to ridicule engulfed them. The idolaters say, had God willed, we would not have worshipped anything besides Him, neither us nor our ancestors, nor would we have prohibited anything besides His prohibitions. Those before them did likewise. Are the messengers responsible for anything but clear communication? To every community, we sent a messenger, worship God and avoid idolatry. Some of them God guided while others deserved misguidance. So travel through the earth and see what the fate of the deniers was. Even though you may be concerned about their guidance, God does not guide those who misguide, and they will have no saviors. And they swear by God with their most solemn oaths, God will not resurrect anyone who dies. Yes, indeed, it is a promise binding on him, but most people do not know. To clarify for them what they differed about and for the faithless to know that they were liars. When we intend for something to happen, we say to it, be, and it becomes. Those who emigrate for God's sake after being persecuted, we will settle them in a good place in this world, but the reward of the hereafter is greater, if they only knew. Those who endure patiently, and in their Lord, they put their trust. We did not send before you except men whom we inspired. So ask the people of knowledge, if you do not know, with the clarifications and the scriptures, and we reveal to you the reminder that you may clarify to the people what was revealed to them, and that they may reflect. Do those who scheme evils feel secure that God will not cause the earth to cave in with them, or that the punishment will not come upon them from where they do not perceive, or that he will not seize them during their activities, and they will not be able to prevent it, or that he will not seize them while in dread. Your Lord is gentle and merciful. Have they not observed what God has created? Their shadows revolve from the right and the left, bowing to God as they shrink away. To God bows down everything in the heavens and everything on earth, every living creature and the angels and without being proud. They fear their Lord above them and they do what they are commanded. God has said, do not take two gods. He is only one God, so fear only me. To him belongs everything in the heavens and the earth and to him obedience is due always. Do you then fear anyone other than God? Whatever blessing you have is from God, and when harm touches you, it is to Him that you groan. But when He lifts the harm from you, some of you associate others with their Lord to show in gratitude for what we have given them. Enjoy yourselves, you will soon know. And they allocate to something they do not know, a share of what we have provided for them. 
By God, you will be questioned about what you have been inventing, and they attribute to God daughters, exalted is he, and for themselves what they desire. And when one of them is given news of a female infant, his face darkens, and he chokes with grief. He hides from the people because of the bad news given to him. Shall he keep it in humiliation or bury it in the dust? Evil is the decision they make. Those who do not believe in the hereafter set a bad example, while God sets the highest example. He is the mighty, the wise. If God were to hold mankind for their injustices, he would not leave upon it a single creature, but he postpones them until an appointed time. Then, when their time arrives, they will not delay it by one hour, nor will they advance it. And they attribute to God what they themselves dislike while their tongues utter the lie that theirs is the goodness. Without a doubt, for them is the fire, and they will be neglected. By God, we sent messengers to communities before you, but Satan made their deeds appear alluring to them. He is their master today, and they will have a painful punishment. We re we read to you the scripture only to clarify for them what they differ about and guidance and mercy for people who believe. God sends down water from the sky, with which he revives the earth after its death. In this is a sign for people who listen. And there is a lesson for you in cattle. We give you a drink from their bellies, from between waste and blood, pure milk, refreshing to the drinkers. And from the fruits of date palms and grapevines, you derive sugar and wholesome food. In this is a sign for people who understand. And your Lord inspired the bee, set up hives in the mountains and in the trees and in what they construct. Then eat of all the fruits and go along the pathways of your Lord with precision. From their bellies emerges a fluid of diverse colors containing healing for the people. Surely in this is a sign for people who reflect. God created you, then he takes you away. Some of you will be brought back to the worst age so that he will no longer know anything after having acquired knowledge. God is omniscient and omnipotent. God has favored some of you over others in livelihood. Those who are favored would not give their properties to their servants to the extent of making them partners in it. Will they then renounce God's blessings? God has given you mates from among yourselves and has produced for you from your mates, children and grandchildren and has provided you with good things. Will they then believe in falsehood and refuse God's favors? And yet they serve besides God what possesses no provisions for them in the heavens, nor on earth, nor are they capable. So do not cite the examples for God. God knows and you do not know. God cites the example of a bonded slave who has no power over anything and someone to whom we have given plentiful provision from which he gives secretly and openly. Are they equal in comparison? All praise belongs to God, but most of them do not know. And God cites the example of two men, one of them dumb, unable to do anything, and is a burden on his master. Whichever way he directs him, he achieves nothing good. Is he equal to him who commands justice and is on a straight path? To God belongs the unseen of the heavens and the earth. The coming of the hour is only as the twinkling of the eye, or even nearer. God has power over everything. God brought you out of your mother's wombs, not knowing anything, and he gave you the hearing and the eyesight and the brains that you may give thanks. Have they not seen the birds flying in the midst of the sky? None sustains them except God. In this are signs for people who believe. And God has given you in your homes habitats for you and has provided for you out of the hides of livestock portable homes for you so you can use them when you travel and when you camp. 
and from their wool and fur and hair furnishings and comfort for a while. And God has made for you shade out of what he has created and has given you resorts in the mountains and has given you garments to protect you from the heat and garments to protect you from your violence. Thus, he completes his blessings upon you so that you may submit. But if they turn away, your only duty is clear communication. They recognize God's blessing, but then deny it, as most of them are ungrateful. On the day when we raise up a witness from every community, those who disbelieved will not be permitted, nor will they be excused. When those who did wrong see the punishment, it will not be lightened for them, nor will they be reprieved. And when the idolaters see their associates, they will say, Our Lord, these are our associates whom we use to invoke besides you. They will strike back at them with the saying, Surely you are liars. On that day, they will offer their submission to God, and what they had invented will abandon them. Those who disbelieve and obstruct from God's path, we will add punishment to their punishment on account of the mischief they used to make. On the day when we raise in every community a witness against them from among them and bring you as a witness against these. We have revealed to you the book as an explanation of all things and guidance and mercy and good news for those who submit. God commands justice and goodness and generosity towards relatives, and he forbids immorality and injustice and oppression. He advises you so that you may take heed. Fulfill God's covenant when you make a covenant, and do not break your oaths after ratifying them. You have made God your guarantor, and God knows what you do. And do not be like her who unravels her yarn, breaking it into pieces after she has spun it strongly. Nor use your oaths as means of deception among you, because one community is more prosperous than another. God is testing you thereby. On the day of resurrection, he will make clear to you everything you had disputed about. Had God willed, he would have made you one congregation. But he leaves astray whom he wills, and he guides whom he wills. And you will surely be questioned about what you used to do. And do not use your oaths to deceive one another, so that a foot may not slip after being firm. And you taste misery because you hindered from God's path and incur a terrible torment. And do not exchange God's covenant for a small price. What is with God is better for you if you only knew. What you have runs out, but what is with God remains. We will reward those who are patient according to the best of their deeds. Whoever works righteousness, whether male or female, while being a believer, we will grant him a good life and we will reward them according to the best of what they used to do. When you read the Quran, seek refuge with God from Satan, the outcast. He has no authority over those who believe and trust in their Lord. His authority is only over those who follow him and those who associate others with him. When we substitute a verse in place of another verse, and God knows best what he reveals, they say, you are an imposter. But most of them do not know. Say, the Holy Spirit has brought it down from your Lord truthfully in order to stabilize those who believe and as guidance and good news for those who submit. We are well aware that they say it is a human being who is teaching him. But the tongue of him they allude to is foreign, while this is a clear Arabic tongue. Those who do not believe in God's revelations, God will not guide them, and for them is a painful punishment. It is those who do not believe in God's revelations who fabricate falsehood. These are the liars. Whoever renounces faith in God after having believed except for someone who is compelled while his heart rests securely in faith, but whoever willingly opens up his heart to disbelief, upon them falls wrath from God, and for them is a tremendous torment. That is because they have preferred the worldly life to the hereafter, and because God does not guide the people who refuse. 
It is they whom God has sealed their hearts and their hearing and their sight. It is they who are the heedless. There is no doubt that in the hereafter they will be the losers. But then, your Lord, for those who emigrated after being persecuted, then struggled and persevered, your Lord thereafter is forgiving and merciful. On the day when every soul will come pleading for itself, and every soul will be paid in full for what it has done, and they will not be wronged. And God cites the example of a town that was secure and peaceful, with its livelihood coming to it abundantly from every direction. But then it turned unappreciative of God's blessings, so God made it taste the robe of hunger and fear because of what they used to craft. A messenger from among them had come to them, but they denounced him, so the punishment seized them in the midst of their wrongdoing. Eat of the lawful and good things God has provided for you, and be thankful for God's blessings, if it is him that you serve. He has forbidden you carrion and blood, and the flesh of swine, and anything consecrated to other than God. But if anyone is compelled by necessity without being deliberate or malicious, then God is forgiving and merciful. And do not say of falsehood asserted by your tongues, this is lawful and this is unlawful, in order to invent lies and attribute them to God. Those who invent lies and attribute them to God will not succeed. A brief enjoyment, then they will have a painful punishment. For those who are Jews, we have prohibited what we related to you before. We did not wrong them, but they used to wrong their own selves. But towards those who do wrongs in ignorance and then repent afterwards and reform, your Lord thereafter is forgiving and merciful. Abraham was an exemplary leader devoted to God, a monotheist, and was not of the polytheists. Thankful for his blessings, he chose him and guided him to a straight path. And we gave him goodness in this world, and in the hereafter he will be among the righteous. Then we inspired you, follow the religion of Abraham, the monotheist. He was not an idol worshipper. The Sabbath was decreed only for those who differed about it. Your Lord will judge between them on the day of resurrection regarding their differences. Invite to the way of your Lord with wisdom and good advice, and debate with them in the most dignified manner. Your Lord is aware of those who stray from his path, and he's aware of those who are guided. If you were to retaliate, retaliate to the same degree as the injury done to you. But if you resort to patience, it is better for the patient. So be patient. Your patience is solely from God, and do not grieve over them, and do not be stressed by their schemes. God is with those who are righteous and those who are virtuous. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, glory to him who journeyed his servant by night from the sacred mosque to the farthest mosque whose precincts we have blessed in order to show him of our wonders. He is the listener, the beholder. And we gave Moses the scripture and made it a guide for the children of Israel. Take none for protector other than me. The descendants of those we carried with Noah, he was an appreciative servant, and we conveyed to the children of Israel in the scripture, you will commit evil on earth twice, and you will rise to a great height. When the first of the two promises came true, we sent against you servants of ours, possessing great might, and they ransacked your homes. It was a promise fulfilled. Then we gave you back your turn against them and supplied you with wealth and children and made you more numerous. If you work righteousness, you work righteousness for yourselves. And if you commit evil, you do so against yourselves. Then, when the second promise comes true, they will make your faces filled with sorrow and enter the temple as they entered it the first time, and utterly destroy all that falls into their power. Perhaps your Lord will have mercy on you, but if you revert, 
we will revert. We have made hell a prison for the disbelievers. This Quran guides to what is most upright, and it gives good news to the believers who do good deeds that they will have a great reward. And those who do not believe in the hereafter, we have prepared for them a painful punishment. The human being prays for evil as he prays for good. The human being is very hasty. We have made the night and the day two wonders. We erase the wonder of the night and made the wonder of the day revealing that you may seek bounty from your Lord and know the number of years and the calculation. We have explained all things in detail. For every person, we have attached his fate to his neck. And on the day of resurrection, we will bring out for him a book which he will find spread open. Read your book. Today, there will be none but yourself to call you to account. Whoever is guided is guided for his own good, and whoever goes astray goes astray to his detriment. No burdened soul carries the burdens of another, nor do we ever punish until we have sent a messenger. When we decide to destroy a town, we command its affluent ones, they transgress in it, so the word becomes justified against it, and we destroy it completely. How many generations have we destroyed after Noah? Your Lord is sufficient as Noah and beholder of the sins of his servants. Whoever desires the fleeting life, we expedite for him what we decide to give him to whomever we desire. Then we consign him to hell, where he will roast, condemned, and defeated. But whoever desires the hereafter and pursues it as it should be pursued, while he is a believer, these, their effort, will be appreciated. To all these and those which extend from the gifts of your Lord. The gifts of your Lord are not restricted. See how we have favored some of them over others. Yet the hereafter is greater in ranks and greater in favors. Do not set up another God with God, lest you become condemned and damned. Your Lord has commanded that you worship none but Him, and that you be good to your parents. If either of them or both of them reach old age with you, do not say to them a word of disrespect, nor scold them, but say to them kind words. And lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy, and say, My Lord, have mercy on them as they raised me when I was a child. Your Lord knows best what is in your minds. If you are righteous, he is forgiving to the obedient, and give the relative his rights and the poor and the wayfarer, and do not squander wastefully. The extravagant are brethren of the devils, and the devil is ever ungrateful to his Lord. But if you turn away from them, seeking mercy from your Lord which you hope for, then say to them words of comfort. And do not keep your hand tied to your neck, nor spread it out fully, lest you end up liable and regretful. Your Lord expands the provision for whomever he wills and restricts it. He is fully informed, observant of his servants. And do not kill your children for fear of poverty. We provide for them and for you. Killing them is a grave sin. And do not come near adultery, it is immoral and an evil way. And do not kill the soul which God has made sacred, except in the course of justice. If someone is killed unjustly, we have given his next of kin certain authority. But he should not be excessive in killing, for he will be supported. And do not go near the orphan's property, except with the best of intentions, until he has reached his maturity and honor your pledge, because the pledge involves responsibility. And give full measure when you measure and weigh with accurate scales. That is fair and the best determination. And do not occupy yourself with what you have no knowledge of. The hearing and the sight and the brains, all these will be questioned. And do not walk proudly on earth. You can neither pierce the earth, nor can you match the mountains in height. The evil of all these is disliked by your Lord. That is some of the wisdom your Lord has revealed to you. Do not set up with God another God, or else you will be thrown in hell, rebuked and banished. 
as your Lord favored you with sons while choosing for himself daughters from among the angels, you are indeed saying a terrible thing. We have explained in this Quran in various ways that they may remember, but it only adds to their rebellion. Say, if there were other gods with him, as they say, they would have sought a way to the Lord of the throne. Be he glorified. He is exalted far above what they say. Praising him are the seven heavens and the earth and everyone in them. There is not a thing that does not glorify him with praise, but you do not understand their praises. He is indeed forbearing and forgiving. When you read the Quran, we place between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter an invisible barrier, and we drape veils over their hearts, preventing them from understanding it and heaviness in their ears. And when you mention your Lord alone in the Quran, they turn their backs in aversion. We know well what they listen to when they listen to you, as they conspire when the wrongdoers say, you only follow a man bewitched. Note what they compared you to, they are lost and unable to find a way. And they say, when we have become bones and fragments, shall we really be resurrected as a new creation? Say, even if you become rocks or iron, or some substance which in your minds is even harder, then they will say, who will restore us? Say, the one who originated you the first time. Then they will nod their heads at you and say, when will it be? Say, perhaps it will be soon. On the day when he calls you, you will respond with his praise, and you will realize that you stayed only a little. Tell my servants to say what is best. Satan sows discord among them. Satan is to man an open enemy. Your Lord knows you best. If he wills, he will have mercy on you, and if he wills, he will punish you. We did not send you as their advocate. Your Lord knows well everyone in the heavens and the earth. We have given some prophets advantage over others, and to David we gave the Psalms. Say, call upon those you claim besides him. They have no power to relieve your adversity, nor can they change it. Those they call upon are themselves seeking means of access to their Lord, vying to be nearer and hoping for his mercy and fearing his punishment. The punishment of your Lord is to be dreaded. There is no city but we will destroy before the day of resurrection or punish it with a severe punishment. This is inscribed in the book. Nothing prevents us from sending miraculous signs, except that the ancients called them lies. We gave Thamud the she-camel, a visible sign, but they mistreated her. We do not send the signs except to instill reverence. We said to you that your Lord encompasses humanity. We did not make the vision we showed you except as a test for the people and the tree cursed in the Quran. We frighten them, but that only increases their defiance. When we said to the angels, bow down before Adam, they bowed down, except for Satan. He said, shall I bow down before someone you created from mud? He said, do you see this one whom you have honored more than me? If you reprieve me until the day of resurrection, I will bring his descendants under my sway, except for a few. He said, be gone. Whoever of them follows you, hell is your reward, an ample reward. And entice whomever of them you can with your voice and rally against them your cavalry and your infantry and share with them in wealth and children and make promises to them. But Satan promises them nothing but delusion. As for my devotees, you have no authority over them. Your Lord is an adequate guardian your Lord is he who propels for you the ships at sea that you may seek of his bounty. He is towards you most merciful. When harm afflicts you at sea, those you pray to vanish, except for him. But when he saves you to land, you turn away. The human being is ever thankless. Are you confident that he will not cause a track of land to cave in beneath you or unleash a tornado against you and then you find no protector? 
or are you confident that he will not return you to it once again and unleash a hurricane against you and drown you for your ingratitude? Then you will find no helper against us. We have honored the children of Adam and carried them on land and sea and provided them with good things and greatly favored them over many of those we created. On the day when we call every people with their leader, whoever is given his record in his right hand, these will read their record and they will not be wronged one bit. But whoever is blind in this, he will be blind in the hereafter and further astray from the way. They almost lured you away from what we have revealed to you so that you would invent something else in our name. In that case, they would have taken you for a friend. Had we not given you stability, you might have inclined towards them a little. Then we would have made you taste double in life and double at death. Then you would have found for yourself no helper against us. They almost provoked you to expel you from the land. In that case, they would not have lasted after you, except briefly. The tradition of the messengers we sent before you, you will find no change in our rules. Perform the prayer at the decline of the sun until the darkness of the night. And the Quran at dawn. The Quran at dawn is witnessed and keep vigil with it during parts of the night as an extra prayer. Perhaps your Lord will raise you to a laudable position and say, My Lord, lead me in through an entry of truth and lead me out through an exit of truth and grant me from you a supporting power and say the truth has come and falsehood has withered away for falsehood is bound to wither away. We send down in the Quran healing and mercy for the believers, but it increases the wrongdoers only in loss. When we bless the human being, he turns away and distances himself. But when adversity touches him, he is in despair. Say, each does according to his disposition. Your Lord knows best who is better guided in the way. And they ask you about the spirit. Say, the spirit belongs to the domain of my Lord, and you were given only little knowledge. If we willed, we could take away what we revealed to you. Then you will find for yourself no protecting guardian against us, except through a mercy from your Lord. His favors upon you have been great. Say, if mankind and jinn came together to produce the like of this Quran, they could never produce the like of it even if they backed up one another. We have displayed for mankind in this Quran every kind of similitude, but most people insist on denying the truth. And they said, we will not believe in you unless you make a spring burst from the ground for us, or you have a garden of palms and vines, then cause rivers to gush pouring through them, or make the sky fall on us in pieces as you claim, or bring God and the angels before us, or you possess a house of gold, or you ascend into the sky. Even then, we will not believe in your ascension unless you bring down for us a book that we can read. Say, glory be to my Lord. Am I anything but a human messenger, Dub? Nothing prevented the people from believing when guidance has come to them, except that they said, did God send a human messenger? Says if there were angels on earth walking around in peace, we would have sent down to them from heaven an angel messenger. Say, God is enough witness between you and me. He is fully aware of his servants and he sees them well. Whomever God guides is the guided one, and whomever he leaves astray, for them you will find no protectors apart from him, and we will gather them on the day of resurrection, on their faces, blind, dumb, and deaf. Their abode is hell. Whenever it abates, we intensify the blaze for them. This is their repayment for having blasphemed against our revelations and having said, shall we, when we have become bones and fragments, be resurrected as a new creation? Do they not consider that God, who created the heavens and the earth, 
is able to create the likes of them. He has assigned for them a term in which there is no doubt, but the wrongdoers persist in denying the truth. Say, if you possessed the treasuries of my Lord's mercy, you would have withheld them for fear of spending. The human being has always been stingy. We gave Moses nine clear signs, asked the children of Israel. When he went to them, Pharaoh said to him, I think that you, Moses, are bewitched. He said, you know that none sent these down except the Lord of the heavens and the earth, eye openers, and I think that you, Pharaoh, are doomed. He resolved to scare them off the land, but we drowned him and those with him altogether. After him, we said to the children of Israel, inhabit the land, and when the promise of the hereafter arrives, we will bring you all together. With the truth, we sent it down, and with the truth it descended, we sent you only as a bearer of good news and a warner. A Quran which we unfolded gradually, that you may recite to the people over time. And we revealed it in stages, say believe in it or do not believe. Those who were given knowledge before it, when it is recited to them, they fall to their chins, prostrating, and they say, Glory to our Lord. The promise of our Lord is fulfilled. And they fall to their chins, weeping, and it adds to their humility. Say, call him God, or call him the most merciful. Whichever name you use, to him belong the best names. And be neither loud in your prayer, nor silent in it, but follow a course in between and say, praise be to God, who has not begotten a son, nor has he a partner in sovereignty, nor has he an ally out of weakness, and glorify him constantly. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, praise be to God, who revealed the book to his servant and allowed in it no distortion. Valuable to warn of severe punishment from himself and to deliver good news to the believers who do righteous deeds that they will have an excellent reward in which they will abide forever and to warn those who say God has begotten a son. They have no knowledge of this, nor did their forefathers. Grave is the word that comes out of their mouths. They say nothing but a lie. Perhaps you may destroy yourself with grief, chasing after them, if they do not believe in this information. We made what is upon the earth an ornament for it, to test them as to which of them is best in conduct. And we will turn what is on it into barren waste. Did you know that the people of the cave and the inscription were of our wondrous signs? When the youths took shelter in the cave, they said, Our Lord, give us mercy from yourself and bless our affair with guidance. Then we sealed their ears in the cave for a number of years. Then we awakened them to know which of the two groups could better calculate the length of their stay. We relate to you their story in truth. They were youths who believed in their Lord and we increased them in guidance and we strengthened their hearts when they stood up and said, our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We will not call on any God besides him for then we would have spoken an outrage. These people, our people, have taken to themselves gods other than him. Why do they not bring a clear proof concerning them? Who then does greater wrong than he who invents lies and attributes them to God? Now that you have withdrawn from them and from what they worship besides God, take shelter in the cave and your Lord will unfold his mercy for you and will set your affair towards ease. You would have seen the sun when it rose, veering away from their cave towards the right, and when it sets, moving away from them to the left as they lay in the midst of the cave. That was one of God's wonders. He whom God guides is truly guided, but he whom he misguides for him, you will find no directing friend. You would think them awake, although they were asleep, and we turned them over to the right and to the left with their dog stretching its paws across the threshold. Had you looked at them, you would have turned away from them in flight and been filled with fear of them. Even so, we awakened them so that they may ask one another. A speaker among them said, How long have you stayed? They said, We have stayed a day, or part of a day. They said, 
Your Lord knows best how long you've stayed. Send one of you to the city with this money of yours, and let him see which food is most suitable, and let him bring you some provision thereof, and let him be gentle, and let no one become aware of you. If they discover you, they will stone you or force you back into their religion. Then you will never be saved. So it was that we caused them to be discovered, that they would know that the promise of God is true, and that of the hour there is no doubt. As they were disputing their case among themselves, they said, Build over them a building. And their Lord knows best about them. Those who prevailed over their case said, We will set up over them a place of worship. They will say three and their fourth being their dog, and they will say five and their sixth being their dog, guessing at the unknown, and they will say seven and their eighth being their dog. Say, my Lord knows best their number. None knows them except a few. So do not argue concerning them except with an obvious argument, and do not consult any of them about them and never say about anything, I will do that tomorrow. Without saying, if God wills, and remember your Lord if you forget, and say, perhaps my Lord will guide me to nearer than this in integrity. And they stayed in their cave for 300 years, adding nine. Say, God knows best how long they stayed. His is the mystery of the heavens and the earth. By him you see and hear. They have no guardian apart from him, and he shares his sovereignty with no one. And recite what was revealed to you from the book of your Lord. There is no changing his words, and you will find no refuge except in him. And content yourself with those who pray to their Lord morning and evening, desiring his presence. And do not turn your eyes away from them, desiring the glitter of this world. And do not obey him, whose heart we have made heedless of our remembrance, so he follows his own desires and his priorities are confused. And say, the truth is from your Lord. Whoever wills, let him believe. And whoever wills, let him disbelieve. We have prepared for the unjust a fire, whose curtains will hem them in. And when they cry for relief, they will be relieved with water like molten brass, which scalds the faces. What a miserable drink, and what a terrible place. As for those who believe and lead a righteous life, we will not waste the reward of those who work righteousness. These will have the gardens of Eden, beneath which rivers flow. Reclining on comfortable furnishings, they will be adorned with bracelets of gold and will wear green garments of silk and brocade. What a wonderful reward and what an excellent resting place. And cite for them the parable of two men. To one of them we gave two gardens of vine and we surrounded them with palm trees and we placed between them crops. Both gardens produced their harvest in full and suffered no loss and we made a river flow through them. And thus he had abundant fruits. He said to his friend, as he conversed with him, I am wealthier than you and greater in manpower. And he entered his garden, wronging himself. He said, I do not think this will ever perish. And I do not think the hour is coming. And even if I am returned to my Lord, I will find something better than this in return. His friend said to him as he conversed with him, Are you being ungrateful to him who created you from dust, then from a sperm drop, then evolved you into a man? But as for me, he is God my Lord, and I never associate with my Lord anyone. When you entered your garden, why did you not say, As God wills, there is no power except through God? Although you see me inferior to you in wealth and children, perhaps my Lord will give me something better than your garden and release upon it thunderbolts from the sky so it becomes barren waste or its water will sink into the ground and you will be unable to draw it. And ruin closed in on his crops and so he began wringing his hands over what he had invested in it as it lays fallen upon its trellises. 
and he was saying, I wish I never associated anyone with my Lord. He had no faction to help him besides God, and he was helpless. That is because authority belongs to God, the true. He is best in rewarding and best in requiting. And cite for them the parable of the present life. It is like water that we send down from the sky. The plants of the earth absorb it, but then it becomes debris, scattered by the wind. God has absolute power over everything. Wealth and children are the adornments of the present life. But the things that last, the virtuous deeds, are better with your Lord for reward and better for hope. On the day when we set the mountains in motion and you see the earth emerging and we gather them together, and leave none of them behind. They will be presented before your Lord in a row. You have come to us as we created you the first time. Although you claimed we would not set a meeting for you. And the book will be placed and you will see the sinners fearful of its contents. And they will say, woe to us. What is with this book that leaves nothing small or big, but it has enumerated it? They will find everything they had done present. Your Lord does not wrong anyone. We said to the angels, bow down to Adam. So they bowed down, except for Satan. He was of the jinn, and he defied the command of his Lord. Will you take him and his offspring as lords instead of me, when they are an enemy to you? Evil is the exchange for the wrongdoers. I did not call them to witness the creation of the heavens and the earth, nor their own creation. And I do not take the misleaders for assistance. On the day when he will say, call on my partners whom you have claimed, they will call on them, but they will not answer them. And we will place between them a barrier. And the sinners will see the fire and will realize that they will tumble into it. They will find no deliverance from it. We have elaborated in this Quran for the people every kind of example. But the human being is a most argumentative being. What prevented people from accepting faith when guidance has come to them and from seeking their Lord's forgiveness? Unless they are waiting for the precedent of the ancients to befall them or to have the punishment come upon them face to face, we send the messengers only as deliverers of good news and warners. Those who disbelieve argue with false argument in order to defeat the truth thereby. They take my verses and the warnings for a joke. Who does greater wrong than he, who when reminded of his Lord's revelations, turns away from them and forgets what his hands have put forward? We have placed coverings over their hearts, lest they understand it, and heaviness in their ears. And if you call them to guidance, they will not be guided ever. Your Lord is the forgiver, possessor of mercy. Were he to call them to account for what they have earned, he would have hastened the punishment for them. But they have an appointment from which they will find no escape. And these towns, we destroyed them when they committed injustices, and we set for their destruction an appointed time. Recall when Moses said to his servant, I will not give up until I reach the junction of the two rivers, even if it takes me years. Then, when they reached the junction between them, they forgot about their fish. It found its way into the river, slipping away. When they went further, he said to his servant, bring us our lunch. We were exposed in our travel to much fatigue. He said, do you remember when we rested by the rock? I forgot about the fish. It was only the devil who made me forget it. And so it found its way to the river, amazingly. He said, this is what we were seeking. And so they turned back, retracing their steps. Then they came upon a servant of ours, whom we had blessed with mercy from us, and had taught him knowledge from our own. Moses said to him, May I follow you, so that you may teach me some of the guidance you were taught. He said, You will not be able to endure with me. And how will you endure what you have no knowledge of? He said, You will find me, God willing, patient, and I will not disobey you in any order of yours. He said, If you follow me, do not ask me about anything until I myself make mention of it to you. 
So they set out, until when they had boarded the boat, he holed it. He said, did you hole it to drown its passengers? You have done something awful. He said, did I not tell you that you will not be able to endure with me? He said, do not rebuke me for forgetting, and do not make my course difficult for me. Then they set out, until when they encountered a boy, he killed him. He said, did you kill a pure soul who killed no one? You have done something terrible. He said, did I not tell you that you will not be able to endure with me? He said, if I ask you about anything after this, then do not keep company with me. You have received excuses from me. So they set out, until when they reached the people of a town, they asked them for food, but they refused to offer them hospitality. There they found a wall about to collapse, and he repaired it. He said, if he, uh, if he, if you wanted, uh, you could have obtained a payment for it. He said, this is the parting between you and Ma. I will tell you the interpretation of what you were unable to endure. As for the boat, it belonged to paupers working at sea. I wanted to damage it because there was a king coming after them, seizing every boat by force. As for the boy, his parents were believers, and we feared he would overwhelm them with oppression and disbelief. So we wanted their lord to replace him with someone better in purity and closer to mercy. And as for the wall, it belonged to two orphan boys in the city. Beneath it was a treasure that belonged to them. Their father was a righteous man. Your lord wanted them to reach their maturity and then extract their treasure as a mercy from your lord. I did not do it of my own accord. This is the interpretation of what you were unable to endure. And they ask you about Zul Karnin. Say, I will tell you something about him. We established him on earth and gave him all kinds of means. He pursued a certain course until when he reached the setting of the sun, he found it setting in a murky spring and found a people in its vicinity. We said, O oh, Zul Karnin, you may either inflict a penalty or else treat them kindly. He said, as for him who does wrong, we will penalize him. Then he will be returned to his Lord and he will punish him with an unheard of torment. But as for him who believes and acts righteously, he will have the finest reward and we will speak to him of our command with ease. Then he pursued a course until when he reached the rising of the sun, he found it rising on a people for whom we had provided no shelter from it. And so it was, we had full knowledge of what he had. Then he pursued a course until when he reached the point separating the two barriers, he found beside them a people who could barely understand what is said. They said, Ozul Karnein, the Gog and Magog are spreading chaos in the land. Can we pay you to build between us and them a wall? He said, what my Lord has empowered me with is better, but assist me with strength and I will build between you and them a dam. Bring me blocks of iron, so that when he had leveled up between the two cliffs, he said, blow. And having turned it into a fire, he said, bring me tar to pour over it. So they were unable to climb it and they could not penetrate it. He said, this is a mercy from my Lord, but when the promise of my Lord comes true, he will turn it into rubble and the promise of my Lord is always true. On that day, we will leave them surging upon one another and the trumpet will be blown and we will gather them together. On that day, we will present the disbelievers to hell, all displayed. Those whose eyes were screened to my message and were unable to hear. Do those who disbelieve think that they can take my servants for masters instead of me? We have prepared hell for the hospitality of the faithless. Say, shall we inform you of the greatest losers in their works? Those whose efforts in this world are misguided while they assume that they are doing well. It is they who rejected the communications of their Lord and the encounter with him. 
so their works are in vain. And on the day of resurrection, we will consider them of no weight. That is their requital hell on account of their disbelief and their taking my revelations and my messengers in mockery. As for those who believe and do righteous deeds, they will have the gardens of paradise for hospitality, abiding therein forever without desiring any change therefrom. Say, if the ocean were ink for the words of my Lord, the ocean would run out before the words of my Lord run out. Even if we were to bring the like of it in addition to it, say, I am only a human being like you, being inspired that your God is one God. Whoever hopes to meet his Lord, let him work righteousness and never associate anyone with the service of his Lord. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, Kaf Ha Ya Ain Sa'ad, a mention of the mercy of your Lord towards his servant Zechariah, when he called on his Lord a call in seclusion. He said, My Lord, my bones have become feeble, and my hair is aflame with grey. And never, Lord, have I been disappointed in my prayer to you. And I fear for my dependents after me, and my wife is barren. So grant me from yourself an heir, to inherit me and inherit from the house of Jacob and make him my Lord pleasing. O Zechariah, we give you good news of a son whose name is John, a name we have never given before. He said, My Lord, how can I have a son when my wife is barren and I have become decrepit with old age? He said, It will be so, your Lord says, it is easy for me, and I created you before, when you were nothing. He said, My Lord, give me a sign. He said, Your sign is that you will not speak to the people for three nights straight. And he came out to his people from the sanctuary and signaled to them to praise morning and evening. Oh, John, hold on to the scripture firmly. And gave him wisdom in his youth and tenderness from us and innocence he was devout and kind to his parents and he was not a disobedient tyrant and, and peace be upon him the day he was born and the day he dies and the day he is raised alive and mentioned in the scripture Mary when she withdrew from her people to an eastern location she screened herself away from them and we sent to her our spirit and he appeared to her as an immaculate human. She said, I take refuge from you in the most merciful, should you be righteous. He said, I am only the messenger of your Lord to give you the gift of a pure son. He said, how can I have a son when no man has touched me and I was never unchaste? He said, Thus said your Lord, it is easy for me, and we will make him a sign for humanity and a mercy from us. It is a matter already decided. So she carried him and secluded herself with him in a remote place. The labor pains came upon her by the trunk of a palm tree. She said, I wish I had died before this and been completely forgotten. Whereupon... He called her from beneath her, Do not worry, your Lord has placed a stream beneath you and, and shake the trunk of the palm tree towards you and it will drop ripe dates by you. So eat and drink and be consoled. And if you see any human, say, I have vowed a fast to the most gracious, so I will not speak to any human today. Then she came to her people, carrying him, they said, O Mary, you have done something terrible. O sister of Aaron, your father was not an evil man, and your mother was not a whore. So she pointed to him. They said, How can we speak to an infant in the crib? He said, I am the servant of God. He has given me the scripture and made me a prophet, and has made me blessed wherever I may be, and has enjoined on me prayer and charity so long as I live and kind to my mother, and he did not make me a disobedient rebel. So peace is upon me the day I was born, and the day I die. 
and the day I get resurrected alive. That is Jesus, son of Mary, the word of truth about which they doubt. It is not for God to have a child. Glory be to him. To have anything done, he says to it, be, and it becomes. God is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him. That is a straight path. But the various factions differed among themselves. So woe to those who disbelieve from the scene of a tremendous day. Listen to them and watch for them the day they come to us. But the wrongdoers today are completely lost and warn them of the day of regret when the matter will be concluded. Yet they are heedless and they do not believe. It is we who will inherit the earth and everyone on it, and to us they will be returned. And mention in the scripture Abraham. He was a man of truth, a prophet. He said to his father, O oh my father, why do you worship what can neither hear nor see nor benefit you in any way? O oh my father, there has come to me knowledge that never came to you, so follow me, and I will guide you along a straight way. O oh my father, do not worship the devil. The devil is disobedient to the most gracious. O oh my father, I fear that a punishment from the most gracious will afflict you, and you become an ally of the devil. He said, are you renouncing my gods, O Abraham? If you do not desist, I will stone you, so leave me alone for a while. He said, peace be upon you. I will ask my Lord to forgive you. He has been kind to me, and I will withdraw from you and from what you pray to instead of God. And I will pray to my Lord, and I hope I will not be disappointed in my prayer to my Lord. When he withdrew from them, and from what they worship besides God, we granted him Isaac and Jacob, and each we made a prophet, and we gave them freely of our mercy, and gave them a noble reputation of truth, and mention in the scripture Moses, he was dedicated, he was a messenger and a prophet, and we called him from the right side of the mount, and brought him near in communion, and we granted him out of our mercy, his brother Aaron, a prophet, and mention in the scripture Ishmael, he was true to his promise and was a messenger, a prophet. And he used to enjoin on his people prayer and charity, and he was pleasing to his Lord. And mention in the scripture Enoch, he was a man of truth, a prophet. And we raised him to a high position. These are some of the prophets God has blessed from the descendants of Adam and from those we carried with Noah and from the descendants of Abraham and Israel and from those we guided and selected. Whenever the revelations of the most gracious are recited to them, they would fall down, prostrating and weeping. But they were succeeded by generations who lost the prayers and followed their appetites. They will meet perdition except for those who repent and believe and act righteously. These will enter paradise and will not be wronged in the least. The gardens of Eden, promised by the most merciful to his servants in the unseen. His promise will certainly come true. They will hear no nonsense therein, but only peace, and they will have their provision therein morning and evening. Such is paradise, which we will give as inheritance to those of our servants who are devout. We do not descend except by the command of your Lord. His is what is before us and what is behind us and what is between them. Your Lord is never forgetful. Lord of the heavens and the earth and what is between them, so worship him and persevere in his service. Do you know of anyone equal to him? And the human being says, when I am dead, will I be brought back alive? Does the human being not remember that we created him before, when he was nothing? 
by your Lord. We will round them up and the devils, then we will bring them around hell on their knees. Then out of every sect, we will snatch those most defiant to the most merciful. We are fully aware of those most deserving to scorch in it. There is not one of you, but will go down to it. This has been an unavoidable decree of your Lord. Then we will rescue those who were devout and leave the wrongdoers in it on their knees. When our clear revelations are recited to them, those who disbelieve say to those who believe, which of the two parties is better in position and superior in influence? How many a generation have we destroyed before them, who surpassed them in riches and splendor? Say, whoever is in error the most merciful will lead him on. Until, when they see what they were promised, either the punishment or the hour, then they will know who was in worse position and weaker in forces. God increases in guidance those who accept guidance, and the things that endure, the righteous deeds, have the best reward with your Lord, and the best outcome. Have you seen him who denied our revelations and said, I will be given wealth and children? Did he look into the future, or did he receive a promise from the most merciful? No, indeed, we will write what he says, and will keep extending the agony for him. And then we will inherit from him what he speaks of, and he will come to us alone. And they took besides God other gods to be for them a source of strength. By no means they will reject their worship of them and become opponents to them. Have you not considered how we dispatch the devils against the disbelievers? exciting them with incitement. So do not hurry against them. We are counting for them a countdown on the day when we will gather the righteous to the most merciful as guests and herd the sinners into hell like animals to water. They will have no power of intercession except for someone who has an agreement with the most merciful. And they say, the most merciful has begotten a son. You have come up with something monstrous, at which the heavens almost rupture, and the earth splits, and the mountains fall and crumble, because they attribute a son to the most merciful. It is not fitting for the most merciful to have a son. There is none in the heavens and the earth but will come to the most merciful as a servant. He has enumerated them and counted them one by one, and each one of them will come to him on the day of resurrection alone. Those who believe and do righteous deeds, the most merciful will give them love. We made it easy in your tongue in order to deliver good news to the righteous and to warn with it a hostile people. How many a generation have we destroyed before them? Can you feel a single one of them, or hear from them the slightest whisper? In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, to Tahai, we did not reveal the Quran to you to make you suffer, but only as a reminder for him who fears, a revelation from he who created the earth and the high heavens, the most merciful on the throne. He settled. To him belongs everything in the heavens and the earth, and everything between them, and everything beneath the soil. If you speak aloud, he knows the secret and the most hidden. God. There is no God, but he, his, uh, are the most beautiful names. Has the story of Moses reached you? When he saw a fire, he said to his family, Stay, I have noticed a fire. Perhaps I can bring you a torch therefrom, or find some guidance by the fire. Then when he reached it, he was called, O Moses, I, I am your Lord. Take off your shoes. You are in the sacred valley of Tua. I have chosen you, so listen to what is revealed. I, I am God. There is no God but I. 
so serve me and practice the prayer for my remembrance. The hour is coming, but I keep it almost hidden, so that each soul will be paid for what it endeavors. And do not let him who denies it and follows his desire turn you away from it, lest you fall. And what is that in your right hand, O Moses? He said, this is my staff. I lean on it and herd my sheep with it, and I have other uses for it. He said, throw it, O Moses. So he threw it, thereupon it became a moving serpent, and he said, Take hold of it and do not fear. We will restore it to its original condition, and press your hand to your side. It will come out white, without a blemish. Another sign, that we may show you some of our greatest signs. Go to Pharaoh, he has transgressed. He said, My Lord, put my heart at peace for me, and ease my task for me, and untie the knot from my tongue so they can understand my speech and appoint an assistant for me from my family, Arun, my brother, strengthen me with him and have him share in my mission, that we may glorify you much and remember you much. You are always watching over us. He said, you are granted your request, O Moses. We had favored you another time when we inspired your mother with the inspiration, put him in the chest then cast him into the river. The river will wash him to shore, where an enemy of mine and an enemy of his will pick him up. And I have bestowed upon you love from me, so that you may be reared before my eye. When your sister walked along and said, shall I tell you about someone who will take care of him? So we returned you to your mother, that she may be comforted and not sorrow and you killed a person. But we saved you from stress, and we tested you thoroughly, and you stayed years among the people of Median. Then you came back as ordained, O Moses, and I made you for myself. Go, you and your brother, with my signs, and do not neglect my remembrance. Go to Pharaoh, he has tyrannized, but speak to him nicely. Perhaps he will remember or have some fear. They said, Lord, we feel he may persecute us or become violent. He said, do not fear, I am with you, I hear, and I see. Approach him and say, we are the messengers of your Lord, so let the children of Israel go with us and do not torment them. We bring you a sign from your Lord, and peace be upon him who follows guidance. It was revealed to us that the punishment falls upon him who disbelieves and turns away. He said, Who is your Lord, O Moses? He said, Our Lord is he who gave everything its existence, then guided it. He said, what about the first generations? He said, knowledge thereof is with my Lord in a book. My Lord never errs, nor does he forget. He who made the earth a habitat for you and traced in it roots for you and sent down water from the sky with which we produce pairs of diverse plants. Eat and pasture your livestock. In that are signs for those with understanding from it we created you, and into it we will return you. And from it we will bring you out another time. We showed him our signs, all of them, but he denied and refused. He said, did you come to us to drive us out of our land with your magic, O Moses? We will produce for you magic like it, so make an appointment between us and you, which we will not miss, neither us nor you, in a central place. He said, your appointment is the day of the festival, so let the people be gathered together at mid-morning. Pharaoh turned away, put together his plan, and then came back. Moses said to them, woe to you, do not fabricate lies against God, or he will destroy you with a punishment. He who invents lies will fail. They disagreed among themselves over their affair and conferred secretly. 
They said these two are magicians who want to drive you out of your land with their magic and to abolish your exemplary way of life. So settle your plan and come as one front. Today, whoever gains the upper hand will succeed. They said, oh Moses, either you throw or we will be the first to throw. He said, you, you throw. And suddenly their ropes and sticks appeared to him because of their magic to be crawling swiftly. So Moses felt apprehensive within himself. We said, do not be afraid, you are the uppermost. Now throw down what is in your right hand. It will swallow what they have crafted. What they have crafted is only a magician's trickery, but the magician will not succeed no matter what he does. And the magicians fell down prostrate. They said, we have believed in the Lord of Aaron and Moses. He said, did you believe in him before I have given you permission? He must be your chief who has taught you magic. I will cut off your hands and your feet on alternate sides, and I will crucify you on the trunks of the palm trees. Then you will know which of us is more severe in punishment and more lasting. They said, we will not prefer you to the proofs that have come to us and him who created us. So issue whatever judgment you wish to issue. You can only rule in this lowly life. We have believed in our Lord so that he may forgive us our sins and the magic you have compelled us to practice. God is better and more lasting. Whoever comes to his Lord guilty, for him is hell, where he neither dies nor lives. But whoever comes to him a believer, having worked righteousness, these will have the highest ranks. The gardens of perpetuity, beneath which rivers flow, dwelling therein forever. That is the reward for him who purifies himself. And we, inspired Moses, travel by night with my servants and strike for them a dry path across the sea, not fearing being overtaken nor worrying. Pharaoh pursued them with his troops, but the sea overwhelmed them and completely engulfed them. Pharaoh misled his people and did not guide them. O children of Israel, we have delivered you from your enemy and promised you by the right side of the mount and sent down to you manna and quails. Eat of the good things we have provided for you, but do not be excessive therein, lest my wrath descends upon you. He upon whom my wrath descends has fallen. And I am forgiving towards him who repents, believes, acts righteously, and then remains guided. And what made you rush ahead of your people, O Moses? He said, they are following in my footsteps, and I hurried on to you, my Lord, that you may be pleased. He said, we have tested your people in your absence, and the Sumerian misled them. So Moses returned to his people, angry and disappointed. He said, O oh, my people, did your Lord not promise you a good promise? Was the time too long for you? Or did you want wrath from your Lord to descend upon you, so you broke your promise to me? They said, we did not break our promise to you by our choice, but we were made to carry loads of the people's ornaments, and we cast them in. That was what the Sumerian suggested. He produced for them a calf, a mere body which load, and they said, this is your God and the God of Moses, but he has forgotten. Did they not see that it cannot return a word to them and has no power to harm them or benefit them? Aaron had said to them before, O oh my people, you are being tested by this, and your Lord is the merciful, so follow me and obey my command. They said, we will not give up our devotion to it until Moses returns to us. He said, O oh Aaron, what prevented you when you saw them going astray? From following me, did you disobey my command? He said, Son of my mother, do not seize me by my beard or my head. I feared you would say, you have caused division among the children of Israel and did not regard my word. 
He said, what do you have to say, O Sumerian? He said, I saw what they did not see, so I grasped a handful from the messenger's traces and I flung it away. Thus my soul prompted me. He said, be gone. Your lot in this life is to say no contact, and you have an appointment that you will not miss. Now look at your god that you remain devoted to. We will burn it up and then blow it away into the sea as powder. Surely your god is God, the one besides whom there is no other god. He comprehends everything in knowledge. Thus we narrate to you reports of times gone by, and we have given you a message from our presence. Whoever turns away from it will carry on the day of resurrection a burden, abiding therein forever. And wretched is their burden on the day of resurrection. On the day when the trumpet is blown, we will gather the sinners on that day blue. Murmuring among themselves, you have lingered only for ten. We are fully aware of what they say, when the most exemplary of them in conduct will say, you have lingered only a day. And they ask you about the mountains, say my lord will crumble them utterly, and leave them desolate waste. You will see in them neither crookedness nor deviation. On that day, they will follow the caller without any deviation. Voices will be hushed before the merciful, and you will hear nothing but murmur. On that day, intercession will not avail, except for him permitted by the merciful, and whose words he has approved. He knows what is before them and what's behind them, and they cannot comprehend him in their knowledge. Faces will be humbled before the living, the eternal. Whoever carries injustice will despair. But whoever has done righteous deeds while being a believer will fear neither injustice nor grievance. Thus we have revealed it in Arabic Quran, and we have diversified the warnings in it, that perhaps they would become righteous or it may produce a lesson for them. Exalted is God, the true King. Do not be hasty with the Quran before its inspiration to you is concluded and say, My Lord, increase me in knowledge. And we covenanted with Adam before, but he forgot, and we found in him no resolve. And when we said to the angels, Bow down to Adam, they bowed down, except for Satan. He refused. We said, O oh Adam, this is an enemy to you and to your wife, so do not let him make you leave the garden, for then you will suffer. In it you will never go hungry nor be naked, nor will you be thirsty in it, nor will you swelter. But Satan whispered to him, he said, O oh Adam, shall I show you the tree of immortality and a kingdom that never decays? And so they ate from it, whereupon their bodies became visible to them, and they started covering themselves with the leaves of the garden. Thus, Adam disobeyed his Lord and fell. But then his Lord recalled him and pardoned him and guided him. He said, go, go down from it altogether. Some of you, enemies of some others. But whenever guidance comes to you from me, Whoever follows my guidance will not go astray, nor suffer. But whoever turns away from my reminder, for him is a confined life, and we will raise him on the day of resurrection blind. He will say, my Lord, why did you raise me blind, though I was seeing? He will say, just as our revelations came to you and you forgot them today, you will be forgotten. Thus we recompense him who transgresses and does not believe in the revelations of his Lord. The punishment of the hereafter is more severe and more lasting. Is it not instructive to them how many generations before them we destroyed in whose settlements they walk? Surely in that are signs for people of understanding. Were it not for a word that issued from your Lord, the inevitable would have happened, but there is an appointed term. So bear patiently what they say and celebrate the praises of your Lord.
before the rising of the sun and before its setting, and during the hours of the night glorify him, and at the borders of the day, that you may be satisfied. And do not extend your glance towards what we have given some classes of them to enjoy, the splendor of the life of this world, that we may test them thereby. Your Lord's provision is better and more lasting, and exhort your people to pray and patiently adhere to it. We ask of you no sustenance, but it is we who sustain you. The good ending is that for righteousness. And they say, why, why does he not bring us a miracle from his Lord? Were they not given enough miracles in the former scriptures? Had we destroyed them with the punishment before him, they would have said, our Lord, if only you had sent us a messenger, we would have followed your revelations before we were humiliated and disgraced. Say, everybody is waiting, so wait. You will know who the people of the straight path are and who is rightly guided in the name of God, the gracious, the merciful. Mankind's reckoning has drawn near, but they turn away heedlessly. No fresh reminder comes to them from their Lord, but they listen to it playfully. Their hearts distracted, the wrongdoers confer secretly. Is this anything but a mortal like you? Will you take to sorcery with open eyes? He said, my Lord knows what is said in the heaven and the earth, and he is the hearer, the knower. And they said, a jumble of dreams, and he made it up, and he is a poet. Let him bring us a sign like those sent to the ancients. None of the towns we destroyed before them had believed, will they then believe? We did not send before you except men whom we inspired. Ask the people of knowledge if you do not know. We did not make them mere bodies that ate no food, nor were they immortal. Then we fulfilled our promise to them, and we saved them together with whomever we willed, and we destroyed the extravagant. We have sent down to you a book containing your message. Do you not understand? How many a guilty town have we crushed and established thereafter another people? Then, when they sensed our might, they started running away from it. Do not run, but come back to your luxuries and to your homes that you may be questioned. They said, we will, uh, woe to us. We were unfair. This continued to be their cry until we made them silent ashes. We did not create the sky and the earth and what is between them for amusement. If we wanted amusement, we could have found it within us were we to do so. In fact, we hurl the truth against falsehood and it crushes it, so it vanishes. Woe unto you for what you describe. To him belongs everyone in the heavens and the earth. Those near him are not too proud to worship him, nor do they waver. They praise night and day without ever tiring. Or have they taken to themselves gods from the earth who resurrect? If there were in them gods other than God, they would have gone to ruin. So glory be to God, Lord of the throne, beyond what they allege. He will not be questioned about what he does, but they will be questioned. Or have they taken besides him other gods? Say, bring your proof. This is a message for those with me and a message of those before me. But most of them do not know the truth, so they turn away. We never sent a messenger before you without inspiring him that there is no God but I, so worship me. And they say the most merciful has taken to himself a son. Be he glorified. They are but honored servants. They never speak before he has spoken, and they only act on his command. He knows what is before them and what is behind them, and they do not intercede except for him whom he approves, and they tremble in awe of him. And whoever of them says, I am a God besides him, 
we will reward him with hell. Thus, we reward the wrongdoers. Do the disbelievers not see that the heavens and the earth were one mass and we tore them apart and we made from water every living thing? Will they not believe? And we placed on earth stabilizers, lest it sways with them, and we placed therein signposts and passages that they may be guided. And we made the sky a protected ceiling, yet they turn away from its wonders. It is he who created the night and the day, and the sun and the moon, each floating in an orbit. We did not grant immortality to any human being before you. Should you die, are they then the immortal? Every soul will taste death. We burden you with adversity and prosperity, a test, and to us you will be returned. When those who disbelieve see you, they treat you only with ridicule. Is this the one who mentions your gods? And they reject the mention of the merciful. The human being was created of haste. I will show you my signs, so do not seek to rush me. And, and they say, when will this promise come true, if you are truthful? If those who disbelieve only knew, when they cannot keep the fire off their faces and off their backs, and they will not be helped. In fact, it will come upon them suddenly and bewilder them. They will not be able to repel it, and they will not be reprieved. Messengers before you were also ridiculed, but those who jeered were surrounded by what they had ridiculed. Say, who guards you against the merciful by night and by day? But they turn away from the mention of their Lord. Or do they have gods who can defend them against us? They cannot help themselves, nor will they be protected from us. We have given these enjoyments and their ancestors until time grew long upon them. Do they not see how we gradually reduce the land from its extremities? Are they then the victors? Say, I am warning you through inspiration. But the deaf cannot hear the call when they are being warned. And when a breath of your Lord's punishment touches them, they say, woe to us. We were truly wicked. We will set up the scales of justice for the day of resurrection so that no soul will suffer the least injustice. And even if it be the weight of a mustard seed, we will bring it up. Sufficient are we as reckoners. We gave Moses and Aaron the criterion and illumination and a reminder for the righteous. Those who fear their Lord in private and are apprehensive of the hour this, too, is a blessed message that we revealed. Are you going to deny it? We gave Abraham his integrity formally, and we knew him well. When he said to his father and his people, what are these statues to which you are devoted? They said, we, we found our parents worshipping them. He said, you and your parents are in evident error. They said, are you telling us the truth or are you just playing? He said, your Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth, the one who created them, and I bear witness to that. By God, I will have a plan for your statues after you have gone away. So he reduced them into pieces, except for their biggest, that they may return to it. They said, who did this to our gods? He is certainly one of the wrongdoers. They said, we, we, we heard a youth mentioning them. He's called Abraham. They said, bring him before the eyes of the people so that they may witness. They said, are you the one who did this to our gods, O Abraham? He said, but it was this biggest of them that did it. Ask them if they can speak. Then they turned to one another and said, You yourselves are the wrongdoers. But they reverted to their old ideas. You certainly know that these do not speak. He said, Do you worship instead of God? What can neither benefit you in anything nor harm you? Shame on you and on what you worship instead of God. Do you not understand? 
They said, burn him and support your gods if you are going to act. We said, oh fire, be coolness and safety upon Abraham. They planned to harm him, but we made them the worst losers, and we delivered him and Lot to the land that we blessed for all people. And we granted him Isaac and Jacob as a gift, and each we made righteous, and we made them leaders, guiding by our command. And we inspired them to do good works, and to observe the prayer, and to give out charity. They were devoted servants to us and, and Lot. We gave him judgment and knowledge, and we delivered him from the town that practiced the abominations. They were wicked and perverted people, and we admitted him into our mercy, for he was one of the righteous, and Noah when he called before. So we answered him and delivered him and his family from the great disaster, and we sported him against the people who rejected our signs. They were an evil people, so we drowned them all. And David and Solomon, when they gave judgment in the case of the field when some people's sheep wandered therein by night, and we were witnesses to their judgment. And so we made Solomon understand it, and to each we gave wisdom and knowledge. And we subjected the mountains along with David to sing our praises, and the birds as well. Surely we did. And we taught him the making of shields for you, to protect you from your violence. Are you then appreciative? And to Solomon the stormy wind, blowing at his command towards the land that we have blessed, we are aware of everything, and of the devils were some that died for him, and performed other lesser tasks. But we kept them restrained. And Job, when he cried out to his Lord, Great harm has afflicted me, and you are the most merciful of the merciful. So we answered him, lifted his suffering, and restored his family to him, and there, like with them, a mercy from us and a reminder for the worshippers. And Ishmael and Enoch and Ezekiel, each was one of the steadfast. And we admitted them into our mercy. They were among the righteous. And Jonah, when he stormed out in fury, thinking we had no power over him. But then he cried out in the darkness, There is no God but you. Glory to you. I was one of the wrongdoers. So we answered him and saved him from the affliction. Thus we save the faithful. And Zechariah, when he called out to his Lord, My Lord, do not leave me alone, even though you are the best of heirs. So we answered him and gave him John, and we cured his wife for him. They used to vie in doing righteous deeds, and used to call on us in love and awe, and they used to humble themselves to us. And she who guarded her virginity, we breathed into her of our spirit, and made her and her son a sign to the world. This community of yours is one community, and I am your Lord, so worship me. But they splintered themselves into factions. They will all return to us. Whoever does righteous deeds and is a believer, his effort will not be denied. We are writing it down for him. There is a ban on the town that we had destroyed that they will not return. Until when Gog and Magog are let loose and they swarm down from every mound, the promise of truth has drawn near. The eyes of those who disbelieved will stare in horror. Woe to us. We were oblivious to this. In fact, we were wrongdoers. You and what you worship, besides God, are fuel for hell. You will descend into it. Had these been gods, they would not have descended into it. All will abide in it. In it they will wail, in it they will not hear. As for those who deserved goodness from us, these will be kept away from it. They will not hear its hissing, and they will forever abide in what their hearts desire. The supreme fear will not worry them, and the angels will receive them. This is your day, which you were promised. On the day when we fold the heaven like the folding of a book, just as we began the first creation, we will repeat it. 
a promise binding on us. We will act. We have written in the Psalms after the reminder that the earth will be inherited by my righteous servants. Indeed, in this is a message for people who worship. We did not send you except as mercy to mankind. Say, it is revealed to me that your God is one God. Are you going to submit? But if they turn away, say, I have informed you sufficiently. Although I do not know whether what you are promised is near or far. He knows what is said openly, and he knows what you conceal. And I do not know whether it is perhaps a trial for you and an enjoyment for a while. He said, my Lord judge with justice and our Lord is the gracious whose help is sought against what you allege. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, O people, be conscious of your Lord. The quaking of the hour is a tremendous thing. On the day when you will see it, every nursing mother will discard her infant and every pregnant woman will abort her load. And you will see the people drunk, even though they are not drunk. But the punishment of God is severe. Among the people is he who argues about God without knowledge and follows every defiant devil. It was decreed for him that whoever follows him, he will misguide him and lead him to the torment of the blaze. O oh, people, if you are in doubt about the resurrection, we created you from dust, then from a small drop, then from a clinging clot, then from a lump of flesh, partly developed and partly undeveloped, in order to clarify things for you. And we settle in the wombs whatever we will for a designated term, and then we bring you out as infants until you reach your full strength, and some of you will pass away, and some of you will be returned to the vilest age, so that he may not know after having known, and you see the earth still. But when we send down water on it, it vibrates and swells and grows all kinds of lovely pears. That is because God is the truth, and because he gives life to the dead, and because he is capable of everything. And because the hour is coming, there is no doubt about it. And because God will resurrect those in the graves. And among the people is he who argues about God without knowledge or guidance or an enlightening scripture. Turning aside in contempt to lead away from the path of God. He will have humiliation in this world. And on the day of resurrection, we will make him taste the agony of burning. That is, for what your hands have advanced, and because God is not unjust to the servants. And among the people is he who worships God on edge. When something good comes his way, he is content with it. But when an ordeal strikes him, he makes a turnaround. He loses this world and the next. That is the obvious loss. He invokes instead of God what can neither harm him nor benefit him. That is the far straying. He invokes one whose harm is closer than his benefit. What a miserable master. What a miserable companion. God will admit those who believe and do righteous deeds into gardens beneath which rivers flow. God does whatever he wills. Whoever thinks that God will not help him in this life and in the hereafter, let him turn to heaven, then sever and see if his cunning eliminates what enrages him. Thus, we revealed it as clarifying signs and God guides whomever he wills. Those who believe and those who are Jewish and the Sabaeans and the Christians and the Zoroastrians and the polytheists, God will judge between them on the day of resurrection. God is witness to all things. Do you not realize that to God prostrates everyone in the heavens and everyone on earth and the sun and the moon and the stars and the mountains and the trees and the animals and many of the people? But many are justly deserving of punishment. Whomever God shames, there is none to honor him. God does whatever he wills. Here are two adversaries feuding regarding their Lord. As for those who disbelieve, garments of fire will be tailored for them, and scalding water will be poured over their heads, melting their insides and their skins, and they will have maces of iron. Whenever they try to escape the gloom, they will be driven back to it. Taste the suffering of burning. 
but God will admit those who believe and do good deeds into gardens beneath which rivers flow. They will be decorated therein with bracelets of gold and pearls, and their garments therein will be of silk. They were guided to purity of speech. They were guided to the path of the most praised. As for those who disbelieve and repel from God's path and from the sacred mosque, which we have designated for all mankind equally, whether residing therein or passing through, and whoever seeks to commit sacrilege therein, we will make him taste of a painful punishment. We showed Abraham the location of the house. Do not associate anything with me and purify my house for those who circle around and those who stand to pray and those who kneel and prostrate and announce the pilgrimage to humanity. They will come to you on foot and on every transport. They will come from every distant point that they may witness the benefits for themselves and celebrate the name of God during the appointed days for providing them with the animal livestock. So eat from it and feed the unfortunate poor. Then let them perform their acts of cleansing and fulfill their vows and circle around the ancient house. All that, whoever venerates the sanctities of God, it is good for him with his Lord. All livestock are permitted to you except what is recited to you. So stay away from the abomination of idols and stay away from perjury, being true to God without associating anything with him. Whoever associates anything with God, it is as though he has fallen from the sky and is snatched by the birds or is swept away by the wind to a distant abyss. So it is. Whoever venerates the sacraments of God, it is from the piety of the hearts. In them are benefits for you until a certain time. Then their place is by the ancient house. We have appointed a rite for every nation that they may commemorate God's name over the livestock he has provided for them. Your God is one. God, so to him submit and announce good news to the humble those whose hearts tremble when God is mentioned, and those who endure what has befallen them, and those who perform the prayer and spend from what we have provided for them. We have made the animal offerings emblems of God for you. In them is goodness for you. So pronounce God's name upon them as they line up. Then, when they have fallen on their sides, eat of them and feed the contented and the beggar. Thus, we have subjected them to you that you may be thankful. Neither their flesh nor their blood ever reaches God. What reaches him is the righteousness from you. Thus he subdued them to you, that you may glorify God for guiding you and give good news to the charitable. God defends those who believe. God does not love any ungrateful traitor. Permission is given to those who are fought against and God is able to give them victory. Those who were unjustly evicted from their homes merely for saying, our Lord is God. Were it not that God repels people by means of others, monasteries, churches, synagogues, and mosques, where the name of God is mentioned much, would have been demolished. God supports whoever supports him. God is strong and mighty. Those who, when we empower them in the land, observe the prayer and give regular charity and command what is right and forbid what is wrong. To God belongs the outcome of events. If they deny you before them, the people of Noah and Ard and Thamud also denied, and the people of Abraham and the people of Lot and the inhabitants of Median, and Moses was denied. Then I reprieved those who disbelieved, but then I seized them. So how was my rejection? How many a town have we destroyed while it was doing wrong? They lie in ruins with stilled wells and lofty mansions. Have they not journeyed in the land and had minds to reason with or ears to listen with? It is not the eyes that go blind, but it is the hearts within the chests that go blind. And they ask you to hasten the punishment, but God never breaks his promise. 
A day with your Lord is like a thousand years of your count. How many a town have I reprieved, although it was unjust? Then I seized it. To me is the destination. Say, O oh people, I'm only a plain warner to you. But those who strive against our revelations, these are the inmates of hell. We never sent a messenger before you or a prophet, but when he had a desire, Satan interfered in his wishes. But God nullifies what Satan interjects, and God affirms his revelations. God is omniscient and wise. In order to make Satan's suggestions a trial for those whose hearts are diseased and those whose hearts are hardened, the wrongdoers are in profound discord. And so that those endowed with knowledge may know that it is the truth from your Lord, and so believe in it, and their hearts soften to it. God guides those who believe to a straight path. Those who disbelieve will continue to be hesitant about it until the hour comes upon them suddenly, or there comes to them the torment of a desolate day. Sovereignty on that day belongs to God. He will judge between them. Those who believe and do good deeds will be in the gardens of bliss. But those who disbelieve and reject our revelations, these will have a humiliating punishment. Those who emigrate in God's cause then get killed or die. God will provide them with fine provisions. God is the best of providers. He will admit them an admittance that will please them. God is knowing and clement. That is so, whoever retaliates similarly to the affliction he was made to suffer, and then he is wronged again, God will definitely assist him. God is pardoning and forgiving. That is because God merges the night into the day, and he merges the day into the night. And because God is hearing and seeing, that is because God is the reality, and what they invoke besides him is vanity, and because God is the sublime... The grand. Do you not see that God sends down water from the sky and the land becomes green? God is kind and aware. To him belongs everything in the heavens and everything on earth. God is the rich, the praised. Do you not see that God made everything on earth subservient to you? How the ships sail at sea by his command? That he holds up the sky lest it falls on earth except by his permission? God is gracious towards the people, most merciful. And it is he who gives you life, then makes you die, then revives you. The human being is unappreciative. For every congregation we have appointed acts of devotion which they observe. So do not let them dispute with you in this matter, and invite to your Lord. You are upon a straight guidance. But if they dispute with you, say, God is fully aware of what you do. God will judge between you on the day of resurrection regarding what you disagree about. Do you not know that God knows everything in the heavens and the earth? This is in a book that is easy for God. Yet they worship besides God, things for which he sent down no warrant and what they have no knowledge of. There is no saviour for the transgressors. And when our clear verses are recited to them, you will recognise disgust on the faces of those who disbelieve. They nearly assault those who recite to them our verses. Say, shall I inform you of something worse than that? The fire. God has promised it to those who disbelieve, and what a wretched outcome. People, a parable is presented, so listen to it. Those you invoke besides God will never create a fly, even if they banded together for that purpose. And if the fly steals anything from them, they cannot recover it from it. Weak are the pursuer and the pursued. They do not value God as he should be valued. God is strong and powerful. God chooses messengers from among the angels and from among the people. God is hearing and seeing. He knows what is before them and what is behind them. 
to God, all matters are referred. O you who believe, kneel and prostrate and worship your Lord and do good deeds so that you may succeed. And strive for God with the striving due to him. He has chosen you and has not burdened you in religion, the faith of your father Abraham. It is he who named you Muslims before and in this, so that the messenger may be a witness over you and you may be witnesses over the people. So pray regularly and give regular charity and cleave to God. He is your protector. What an excellent protector and what an excellent helper. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, successful are the believers, those who are humble in their prayers, those who avoid nonsense, and those who work for charity, those who safeguard their chastity and accept from their spouses or their dependents, for they are free from blame. But whoever seeks anything beyond that, these are the transgressors, those who are faithful to their trusts and pledges, those who safeguard their prayers. These are the inheritors who will inherit paradise wherein they will dwell forever. We created man from an extract of clay. Then we made him a seed in a secure repository. Then we developed the seed into a clot. Then we developed the clot into a lump. Then we developed the lump into bones. Then we clothed the bones with flesh. Then we produced it into another creature. Most blessed is God, the best of creators, and then after that you will die. Then on the day of resurrection, you will be resurrected. We created above you seven pathways, and we are never heedless of the creation. And we sent down water from the sky in proper quantity and settled it in the ground, and we are able to take it away. With it we produce for you gardens of palms and vines, yielding abundant fruit for you to eat, and a tree springing out of Mount Sinai, producing oil and seasoning for those who eat. And there is a lesson for you in livestock. We give you to drink from what is in their bellies, and you have many benefits in them, and from them you eat. And on them and on the ships you are transported. We sent Noah to his people. He said, O oh, my people, worship God. You have no deity other than him. Will you not take heed? But the notables of his people who disbelieved said, This is nothing but a human like you who wants to gain superiority over you. Had God willed, he would have sent down angels. We never heard of this from our forefathers of old. You see, he is nothing but a man possessed. Just ignore him for a while. He said, My Lord, help me, for they have rejected me. So we inspired him, build the ark under our observation and by our inspiration. And when our decree comes to pass and the oven boils over, load into it two pairs of every kind, together with your family, except those of them against whom the word has already been pronounced. And do not speak to me concerning those who did wrong, for they are to be drowned. Then when you and those with you are settled in the ark, say, Praise be to God who has saved us from the wrongdoing people and say, my Lord, land me with a blessed landing as you are the best of transporters. Surely in that are signs. We are always testing. Then after them, we established another generation and we sent among them a messenger from themselves. Serve God. You have no God other than him. Will you not be cautious? But the dignitaries of his people, those who disbelieved and denied the meeting of the hereafter, and we had indulged them in the present life, said, This is nothing but a human like you. He eats what you eat, and he drinks what you drink. If you obey a human being like yourselves, then you will be losers. Does he promise you that when you have died and become dust and bones, you will be brought out? 
Far-fetched, far-fetched is what you are promised. There is nothing but our life in this world. We die and we live and we are not resurrected. He's nothing but a man making up lies about God. We have no faith in him. He said, my Lord, help me for they have rejected me. He said, soon they will be filled with regret. Then the blast struck them justifiably and we turned them into scum. So away with the wicked people. Then, after them, we raised other generations. No nation can advance its time, nor can they postpone it. Then we sent our messengers in succession. Every time a messenger came to his community, they called him a liar. So we made them follow one another and made them history. So away with the people who do not believe. Then we sent Moses and his brother Aaron with our signs and a clear authority to Pharaoh and his nobles, but they turned arrogant. They were oppressive people. They said, are we to believe in two mortals like us and their people are our slaves? So they called them liars and thus were among those destroyed. And we gave Moses the scripture that they may be guided. And we made Mary's son and his mother a sign and we sheltered them on high ground with security and flowing springs. O oh, messengers, eat of the good things and act with integrity. I'm aware of what you do. This nation of yours is one nation, and I am your Lord. So fear me. But they tore themselves into sects, each party happy with what they have. So leave them in their bewilderment until a time. Do they assume that in furnishing them with wealth and children, we race to give them the good things? In fact, they have no idea. Those who from awe of their Lord are fearful, and those who believe in their Lord's verses, and those who associate no partners with their Lord, and those who give what they give while their hearts quake, knowing that to their Lord they will return. It is they who race towards goodness. It is they who will reach it first. We never burden any soul beyond its capacity, and with us is a record that tells the truth, and they will not be wronged. But their hearts are puzzled because of this, and they have deeds that do not conform to this which they continue to perpetrate, until when we seize the decadent among them with torment, they begin to groan. Do not groan today. You will receive no help from Us. My verses were recited to you, but you turned back on your heels. Arrogant towards it, talked nonsense about it, disregarded it. Have they not pondered the word, or has there come to them what came not to their forefathers of old? Or is it that they did not recognize their messenger, so they are denying him? Or do they say he is possessed? In fact, he brought them the truth, but most of them hate the truth. If the truth conform to their desires, the heavens, the earth, and everyone in them would have gone to ruin. In fact, we have given them their message, but they keep avoiding their message. Or are you asking them for a payment? The revenue from your Lord is better and he is the best of providers. You are inviting them to a straight path, but those who do not believe in the hereafter are swerving from the path. Even if we had mercy on them and relieved their problems, they would still blindly persist in their defiance. We have already gripped them with suffering, but they did not surrender to their Lord, nor did they humble themselves. Until, when we have opened before them a gate of intense agony, at once, they will despair. It is he who produced for you the hearing and the eyesight and the feelings, but little gratitude you show, and it is he who multiplied you on earth, and to him you will be gathered. And it's he who gives life and brings death, and to him is the alternation of night and day. Do you not understand? But they say the like of what the ancients said. They say, after we have died and become dust and bones, will we be resurrected? We were promised this before, we and our ancestors. These are nothing but legends, 
of the ancients. Say, to whom does the earth belong and everyone in it if you happen to know? They will say, to God. Say, will you not reflect? Say, who is the Lord of the seven heavens and Lord of the splendid throne? They will say to God, say, will you not become righteous? Say, in whose hand is the dominion of all things and he protects and cannot be protected from, if you happen to know? They will say to Guy, to Guy, uh, God, say, then are you bewitched? In fact, we have given them the truth and they are liars. God has never begotten a son, nor is there any God besides him. Otherwise, each God would have taken away what it has created, and some of them would have gained supremacy over others. Glory be to God, far beyond what they describe, the knower of the hidden and the manifest. He is exalted, far above what they associate. Say, my lord, if you would show me what they are promised, my lord, do not place me among the wicked people. We are surely able to show you what we promise them. Repel evil by what is better. We are aware of what they describe. And say, my lord, I seek refuge with you from the urgings of the devils, and I seek refuge with you, my lord, lest they become present. Until when death comes to one of them, he says, My Lord, send me back, that I may do right in what I have neglected. By no means, it is just a word that he utters, and behind them is a barrier until the day they are resurrected. When the horn is blown, no relations between them will exist on that day, and they will not ask after one another. And those whose scales are heavy, those are the successful. But those whose scales are light, those are they who have lost their souls. In hell they will dwell forever. The fire lashes their faces, and therein they grimace. Were not my revelations recited to you, and you kept on rejecting them? They will say, our Lord, our wretchedness prevailed over us, and we were a people astray. Our Lord, bring us out of this. If we ever returned, we would truly be evil. He will say, be despised therein and do not speak to me. There was a group of my servants who would say, Our Lord, we have believed, so forgive us and have mercy on us. You are the best of the merciful. But you made them a target of ridicule until they made you forget my remembrance. And you used to laugh at them. Today, I have rewarded them for their endurance. They are the ones who are the triumphant. He will say, how many, how many years did you remain on earth? They will say, we remained a day or part of a day, but ask those who keep count. He will say, you remained only for a little while, if you only knew. Did you think that we created you in vain and that to us, you will not be returned. So exalted is God, the ruler, the real. There is no God except he, the Lord of the noble throne. Whoever invokes another God besides God, he has no proof thereof. His reckoning rests with his Lord. The disbelievers will not succeed and say, my Lord, forgive and have mercy, for you are the best of the merciful. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, a chapter that we have revealed and made obligatory and revealed in it clear verses that you may take heed. The adulteress and the adulterer whip each one of them a hundred lashes and let no pity towards them overcome you regarding God's law if you believe in God and the last day. And let a group of believers witness their punishment. The adulterer shall marry none but an adulteress or an idolatress. And the adulteress shall marry none but an adulterer or an idolater. That has been prohibited for the believers. 
Those who accuse chaste women, then cannot bring four witnesses, whip them eighty lashes, and do not ever accept their testimony. For these are the immoral, except for those who repent afterwards and reform. For God is forgiving and merciful. As for those who accuse their own spouses, but have no witnesses except themselves, the testimony of one of them is equivalent to four testimonies, if he swears by God that he is truthful, and the fifth time that God's curse be upon him if he is a liar. But punishment shall be averted from her if she swears four times by God that he is a liar, and the fifth time that God's wrath be upon her if he is truthful, were it not for God's grace upon you and his mercy, and that God is conciliatory and wise. Those who perpetrated the slander are a band of you. Do not consider it bad for you, but it is good for you. Each person among them bears his share in the sin. As for him who played the major role, for him is a terrible punishment. Why, when you heard about it, the believing men and women did not think well of one another and say, this is an obvious lie. Why did they not bring four witnesses to testify to it? If they fail to bring the witnesses, then in God's sight they are liars. Were it not for God's favor upon you and his mercy in this world and the hereafter, you would have suffered a great punishment for what you have ventured into. When you rumored it with your tongues and spoke with your mouths what you had no knowledge of and you considered it trivial, but according to God, it is serious. When you heard it, you should have said, it is not for us to repeat this. By your glory, this is a serious slander. God cautions you never to return to the like of it if you are believers. God explains the verses to you. God is knowing and wise. Those who love to see immorality spread among the believers, for them is a painful punishment in this life and in the hereafter. God knows, and you do not know. Were it not for God's grace upon you and his mercy, and that God is clement and merciful, O oh, you who believe, do not follow Satan's footsteps. Whoever follows Satan's footsteps, he advocates obscenity and immorality. Were it not for God's grace towards you and his mercy, not one of you would have been pure ever. But God purifies whomever he wills. God is all-hearing, all-knowing. Those of you who have affluence and means should not refuse to give to the relatives and the needy and the emigrants for the sake of God. And let them pardon and let them overlook. Do you not love for God to pardon you? God is all-forgiving, most merciful. Those who slander honorable, innocent, believing women are cursed in this life and in the hereafter they will have a terrible punishment on the day when their tongues and their hands and their feet will testify against them regarding what they used to do. On that day, God will pay them their account in full and they will know that God is the evident reality. Bad women are for bad men and bad men are for bad women and good women are for good men and good men are for good women. Those are acquitted of what they say. There is forgiveness for them and a generous provision. O oh, you who believe, do not enter homes other than your own until you have asked permission and greeted their occupants. That is better for you that you may be aware. And if you find no one in them, do not enter them until you are given permission. And if it is said to you, turn back, then turn back. That is more proper for you. God is aware of what you do. There is no blame on you for entering uninhabited houses in which are belongings of yours. God knows what you reveal and what you conceal. Tell the believing men to restrain their looks and to guard their privates. That is purer for them. God is cognizant of what they do and tell the believing women to restrain their looks and to guard their privates and not display their beauty except what is apparent thereof and to draw their coverings over their breasts and not expose their beauty except to their husbands, their fathers, their husbands' fathers 
their sons, their husbands' sons, their brothers, their brothers' sons, their sisters' sons, their women, what their right hands possess, their male attendants who have no sexual desires, or children who are not yet aware of the nakedness of women, and they should not strike their feet to draw attention to their hidden beauty. And repent to God, all of you believers, so that you may succeed. And wed the singles among you, and those who are fit among your servants and maids. If they are poor, God will enrich them from his bounty. God is all-encompassing, all-knowing. And let those who do not find the means to marry abstain until God enriches them from his bounty. If any of your servants wish to be freed, grant them their wish if you recognize some good in them. And give them of God's wealth which he has given you. And do not compel your girls to prostitution, seeking the materials of this life if they desire to remain chaste. Should anyone compel them, after their compulsion, God is forgiving and merciful. We have sent down to you clarifying revelations and examples of those who passed on before you and advice for the righteous. God is the light of the heavens and the earth. The allegory of his light is that of a pillar on which is a lamp. The lamp is within a glass. The glass is like a brilliant planet, fueled by a blessed tree, an olive tree, neither eastern nor western. Its oil would almost illuminate, even if no fire has touched it, light upon light. God guides to his light whomever he wills. God thus cites the parables for the people. God is cognizant of everything. In houses which God has permitted to be raised, and his name is celebrated therein. He is glorified therein, morning and evening, by men who neither trading nor commerce distracts them from God's remembrance and from performing the prayers and from giving alms. They fear a day when hearts and sights are overturned. God will reward them according to the best of what they did, and he will increase them from his bounty. God provides for whomever he wills without reckoning. As for those who disbelieve, their works are like a mirage in a desert. The thirsty assumes it is to be water, until when he has reached it he finds it to be nothing, but there he finds God, who settles his account in full. God is swift in reckoning, or like utter darkness in a vast ocean, covered by waves, above which are waves, above which is fog, darkness upon darkness. If he brings out his hand, he will hardly see it. He to whom God has not granted a light has no light. Do you not realize that God is glorified by whatever is in the heavens and the earth, and even by the birds in formation? Each knows its prayer and its manner of praise. God knows well what they do. To God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth and to God is the ultimate return. Have you not seen how God propels the clouds, then brings them together, then piles them into a heap, and you see rain drops emerging from its midst? How he brings down loads of hail from the sky, striking with it whomever he wills, and diverting it from whomever he wills? The flash of its lightning almost snatches the sight away. God alternates the night and the day. In that is a lesson for those who have insight. God created every living creature from water. Some of them crawl on their bellies, and some walk on two feet, and others walk on four. God creates whatever he wills. God is capable of everything. We sent down enlightening revelations, and God guides whomever he wills to a straight path. And they say, we have believed in God and the messenger, and we obey. But some of them turn away afterwards. These are not believers. And when they are called to God and his messenger, in order to judge between them, some of them refuse. But if justice is on their side, they accept it willingly. Is there sickness in their hearts, or are they suspicious? Or do they fear that God may do them injustice, or his messenger? In fact, they themselves are the unjust. 
the response of the believers when they are called to God and his messenger in order to judge between them is to say, we hear and we obey. These are the successful. Whoever obeys God and his messenger and fears God and is conscious of him, these are the winners. And they swear by God with their solemn oaths that if you commanded them, they would mobilize. Say, do not swear. Obedience will be recognized. God is experienced with what you do. Say, obey God and obey the messenger. But if they turn away, then he is responsible for his obligations and you are responsible for your obligations. And if you obey him, you will be guided. It is only incumbent on the messenger to deliver the clarifying message. God has promised those of you who believe and do righteous deeds that he will make them successors on earth as he made those before them successors. And he will establish for them their religion, which he has approved for them. And he will substitute security in place of their fear. They worship me, never associating anything with me, but whoever disbelieves after that, these are the sinners. Pray regularly and give regular charity and obey the messenger so that you may receive mercy. Never think that those who disbelieve can escape on earth. Their place is the fire, a miserable destination. O oh, you who believe, permission must be requested by your servants and those of you who have not reached puberty. On three occasions, before the dawn prayer and at noon when you change your clothes and after the evening prayer. These are three occasions of privacy for you. At other times, it is not wrong for you or them to intermingle with one another. God thus clarifies the revelations for you. God is knowledgeable and wise. When the children among you reach puberty, they must ask permission as those before them asked permission. God thus clarifies his revelations for you. God is knowledgeable and wise. Women past the age of childbearing who have no desire for marriage commit no wrong by taking off their outer clothing provided they do not flaunt their finery, but to maintain modesty is better for them. God is hearing and knowing. There is no blame on the blind, nor any blame on the lame, nor any blame on the sick, nor on yourselves for eating at your homes, or your father's homes, or your mother's homes, or your brother's homes, or your sister's homes, or the homes of your paternal uncles, or the homes of your paternal aunts, or the homes of your maternal uncles or the homes of your maternal aunts, or those whose keys you own, or the homes of your friends. You commit no wrong by eating together or separately, but when you enter any home, greet one another with a greeting from God, blessed and good. God thus explains the revelations for you, so that you may understand. The believers are those who believe in God and his messenger, and when they are with him for a matter of common interest, they do not leave until they have asked him for permission. Those who ask your permission are those who believe in God and his messenger. So when they ask your permission to attend to some affair of theirs, give permission to any of them you wish and ask God's forgiveness for them. God is forgiving and merciful. Do not address the messenger in the same manner you address one another. God knows those of you who slip away using flimsy excuses. So let those who oppose his orders beware, lest an ordeal strikes them or a painful punishment befalls them. Surely to God belongs everything in the heavens and the earth. He knows what you are about. And on the day they are returned to him, he will inform them of what they did. God has full knowledge of all things. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful. Blessed is he who sent down the criterion upon his servant to be a warning to humanity. He to whom belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth, who took to himself no son, 
who never had a partner in his kingship, who created everything and determined its measure. And yet instead of him, they produce for themselves gods that create nothing but are themselves created, that have no power to harm or benefit themselves, and no power over life, death, or resurrection. Those who disbelieve say this is nothing but a lie that he made up, and others have helped him at it. They have committed an injustice and a perjury. And they say, tales of the ancients, he wrote them down. They are dictated to him morning and evening. They say, it was revealed by he who knows the secret in the heavens and the earth. He is always forgiving and merciful. And they say, what sort of messenger is this who eats food and walks in the marketplaces? If only an angel was sent down with him to be alongside him a warner, or if only a treasure was dropped on him, or if only he had a garden from which he eats, the evildoers also say, you are following but a man under spell. Look how they invent examples for you. They have gone astray and cannot find a way. Blessed is he who, if he wills, can provide you with better than that, gardens beneath which rivers flow, and he will give you palaces. In fact, they have denied the hour, and we have prepared for those who deny the hour ablaze. When it sees them from a distant place, they will hear it raging and roaring. And when they are thrown into it, into a tight place shackled, they will plead there for death. Do not plead for one death today, but plead for a great many deaths. Say, is this better or the garden of eternity promised to the righteous? It is for them a reward and a destination. They will have therein whatever they desire forever. That is upon your Lord, a binding promise. On the day when he gathers them and what they worship besides God, he will say, was it you who misled these servants of mine or was it they who lost the way? They will say, Glory be to you. It was not for us to take any lords besides you, but you gave them enjoyments and their ancestors until they forgot the message and became ruined people. They have denied you because of what you say, so you can neither avert nor help. Whoever among you commits injustice, we will make him taste a grievous punishment. We never sent any messengers before you, but they ate food and walked in the marketplaces and we made some of you tempters for one another. Will you be patient? Your Lord is always observing. Those who do not expect to meet us say, if only the angels were sent down to us, or we could see our Lord. They have grown arrogant within themselves and have become excessively defiant. On the day when they see the angels, there will be no good news for sinners on that day, and they will say, a protective refuge. We will proceed to the works they did, and will turn them into scattered dust. The companions of paradise on that day will be better lodged and more fairly accommodated. The day when the sky is cleft with clouds, and the angels are sent down in streams. On that day, true sovereignty will belong to the merciful, and it will be a difficult day for the disbelievers. On that day, the wrongdoer will bite his hands and say, if only I had followed the way with the messenger. A oh, woe to me, I wish I never took so-and-so for a friend. He led me away from the message after it had come to me, for Satan has always been a betrayer of man. And the messenger will say, my Lord, my people have abandoned this Quran. Likewise, to every prophet we assign enemies from among the wicked. But your Lord suffices as a guide and savior. Those who disbelieve say, why was the Quran not revealed to him at once? Thus, in order to strengthen your heart thereby, and we revealed it in stages. Whatever argument they come to you with, we provide you with the truth and a better exposition. Those who are herded into hell on their faces, those are in a worse position and further astray from the way. We gave Moses the scripture and appointed his brother Aaron as his assistant. We said, go to the people who rejected our signs and we destroyed them. 
completely. And the people of Noah, when they rejected the messengers, we drowned them and made them a lesson for mankind. We have prepared for the wrongdoers a painful retribution. And Ard and Thamud and the inhabitants of Aras and many generations in between. To each we presented the parables and each we devastated utterly. And they came upon the city that was drenched by the terrible rain. Did they not see it? But they do not expect resurrection. And when they see you, they take you for nothing but mockery. Is this the one God sent as a messenger? He nearly led us away from our gods, had we not patiently adhered to them. But they will know, when they witness the torment, who is further away from the way. Have you seen him who chose his desire as his god? Would you be an agent for him? Or do you assume that most of them hear or understand? They are just like cattle, but even more errant in their way. Do you not see how your Lord extends the shadow? Had he willed, he could have made it still, and we made the sun a pointer to it. Then we withdraw it towards us gradually, and, and it is he who made the night a covering for you, and sleep for rest, and he made the day a revival. And it is he who sends the winds, bringing advance news of his mercy, and we send down from the sky pure water, to revive dead lands thereby, and to provide drink for the multitude of animals and humans we created. We have circulated it among them, that they may reflect. But most people persist in thanklessness. Had we willed, we could have sent to every town a warner, so do not obey the disbelievers, but strive against them with it, a mighty struggle. And it is he who merged the two seas, this one fresh and sweet, and that one salty and bitter. And he placed between them a barrier and an impassable boundary. And it is he who from fluid created the human being. Then he made relationships through marriage and mating. Your Lord is omnipotent. And yet instead of God, they serve what neither profits them nor harms them. The disbeliever has always turned his back on his Lord. We sent you only as a herald of good news and a warner. Say, I ask of you no payment for this, only that whoever wills may take a path to his Lord. And put your trust in the living, the one who never dies, and celebrate his praise. He suffices as the all-informed knower of the faults of his creatures. He who created the heavens and the earth and everything between them in six days, then settled on the throne, the most merciful. Ask about him a well-informed, and when it is said to them, bow down to the merciful, they say, and what is the merciful? Are we to bow down to whatever you command us? and it increases their aversion. Blessed is he who placed constellations in the sky and placed in it a lamp and an illuminating moon. And it is he who made the night and the day alternate. For whoever desires to reflect or desires to show gratitude, the servants of the merciful are those who walk the earth in humility and when the ignorant address them, they say, peace and those who pass the night prostrating themselves to their Lord and standing up. And those who say, Our Lord, avert from us the suffering of hell, for its suffering is continuous. It is indeed a miserable residence and destination. And those who, when they spend, are neither wasteful nor stingy, but choose a middle course between that and those who do not implore besides God any other God, and do not kill the soul which God has made sacred, except in the pursuit of justice, and do not commit adultery. Whoever does that will face penalties. The punishment will be doubled for him on the day of resurrection, and he will dwell therein in humiliation forever. Except for those who repent and believe and do good deeds, these God will replace their bad deeds with good deeds. God is ever forgiving and merciful.
Whoever repents and acts righteously has inclined towards God with repentance. And those who do not bear false witness, and when they come across indecencies, they pass by with dignity. And those who, when reminded of the revelations of their Lord, do not fall before them deaf and blind. And those who say, Our Lord, grant us delight in our spouses and our children, and make us a good example for the righteous. Those will be awarded the chamber for their patience, and will be greeted therein with greetings and peace. Being therein forever, it is an excellent residence and destination. Say, what are you to my Lord without your prayers? You have denied the truth, and the inevitable will happen. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, Tai Sin Mime. These are the verses of the clarifying book. Perhaps you will destroy yourself with grief because they do not become believers. If we will, we can send down upon them a sign from heaven at which their necks will stay bent in humility. No fresh reminder comes to them from the most merciful, but they turn their backs at it. They have denied the truth, but soon will come to them the news of what they ridiculed. Have they not seen the earth and how many beautiful pairs we produce therein? Surely in this is a sign, but most of them are not believers. Most surely your Lord is the Almighty, the Merciful. Your Lord called to Moses, go to the tyrannical people. The people of Pharaoh, will they not fear? He said, My Lord, I fear they will reject me, and I become stressed and my tongue is not fluent, so send Aaron too, and they have a charge against me, so I fear they will kill me. He said, No, go, both of you, with our proofs. We will be with you, listening. Go to Pharaoh and say, We are the messengers of the Lord of the worlds. Let the children of Israel go with us. And he said, Did we not raise you among us as a child, and you stayed among us for many of your years? And you committed that deed you committed, and you were ungrateful. He said, I did it then, when I was of those astray, and I fled from you when I feared you. But my Lord gave me wisdom and made me one of the messengers. Is that the favor you taught me with, although you have enslaved the children of Israel? Pharaoh said, And what is the Lord of the worlds? He said, The Lord of the heavens and the earth, and everything between them, if you are aware. He said to those around him, Do you not hear, sir? He said, Your Lord and the Lord of your ancestors of old. He said, This messenger of yours, who is sent to you, is crazy. He said, Lord of the east and the west, and everything between them, if you understand. He said, if you accept any god other than me, I will make you a prisoner. He said, what if I bring you something convincing? He said, bring it if you are being truthful. So he cast his staff, and it was a serpent, plain to see. And he pulled his hand, and it was white for all to see. He said to the dignitaries around him, this is a skilled magician. He intends to drive you out of your land with his magic, so what do you recommend? They said, delay him and his brother, and send recruiters to the cities, to bring you every experienced magician. So the magicians were gathered for the appointment on a specified day, and it was said to the people, are you all gathered, that we may follow the magicians, if they are the winners? When the magicians arrived, they said to Pharaoh, Is there a reward for us, if we are the winners? He said, Yes, and you will be among those favored. Moses said to them, Present what you intend to present. So they threw their ropes and their sticks, and said, By the majesty of Pharaoh, we will be the winners. Then Moses threw his staff, and behold, it began swallowing their trickery and the magicians fell down prostrating. They said, We have believed in the Lord of the worlds, the Lord of Moses and Aaron. He said, Did you believe in him? Before I have given you permission, he must be your chief who taught you magic. You will soon know. I will cut off your hands and feet on opposite sides, and I will crucify you all. 
they said, no problem. To our Lord we will return. We are eager for our Lord to forgive us our sins, since we are the first of the believers. And we inspired Moses, travel with my servants by night, you will be followed. Pharaoh sent heralds to the cities. These are a small gang, and they are enraging us, but we are a vigilant multitude. So we drove them out of gardens and springs, and treasures and noble dwellings. So it was, and we made the children of Israel inherit them, and they pursued them at sunrise. When the two groups sighted each other, the followers of Moses said, We are being overtaken. He said, No, my Lord is with me, he will guide me. We inspired Moses, Strike the sea with your staff whereupon it parted, and each part was like a huge hill. And there we brought the others near, and we saved Moses and those with him altogether. Then we drowned the others, in that there is a sign, but most of them are not believers. Surely your Lord is the Almighty, the Merciful, and relate to them the story of Abraham. When he said to his father and his people, what do you worship? They said, we worship idols, and we remain devoted to them. He said, do they hear you when you pray, or do they benefit you or harm you? They said, but we found our ancestors doing so. He said, have you considered what you worship, you and your ancient ancestors? They are enemies to me, but not so the Lord of the worlds, he who created me and guides me. He who feeds me and waters me, and when I get sick, he heals me. He who makes me die and then revives me. He who I hope will forgive my sins on the day of the reckoning. My Lord, grant me wisdom and include me with the righteous and give me a reputation of truth among the others and make me of the inheritors of the garden of bliss and forgive my father. He was one of the misguided, and do not disgrace me on the day they are resurrected, the day when neither wealth nor children will help, except for him who comes to God with a sound heart, and paradise will be brought near for the righteous, and the blaze will be displayed to the deviators, and it will be said to them, where are those you used to worship? Besides God, can they help you or help themselves? then they will be toppled into it together with the seducers and the soldiers of Satan, all of them. They will say, as they feud in it, My God, we were in evident error for equating you with the Lord of the worlds. No one misled us except the sinners. Now we have no intercessors and no sincere friend. If only we could have another chance, we would be among the faithful. Surely in this is a sign but most of them are not believers. Your Lord is the Almighty, the Merciful. The people of Noah disbelieved the messengers. Their brother Noah said to them, Do you not fear? I am to you a faithful messenger. So fear God and obey me. I ask of you no payment for this. My payment is only from the Lord of the worlds. So fear God and obey me. They said, Shall we believe in you when it is the lowliest who follow you? He said, what do I know about what they do? Their account rests only with my Lord, if you have sense, and I'm not about to drive away the believers. I'm only a clear warner. They said, if you do not refrain, O Noah, you will be stoned. He said, my Lord, my people have denied me, so judge between me and them decisively, and deliver me and the believers who are with me. So we delivered him and those with him in the laden ark. Then we drowned the rest, and that is a sign, but most of them are not believers. Your Lord is the Almighty, the Merciful. I disbelieved the messengers when their brother Hud said to them, Do you not fear? I am to you a faithful messenger, so fear God and obey me. I ask of you no payment for this. My payment is only from the Lord of the worlds. Do you build a monument on every height for vanity's sake? And you set up fortresses, hoping to live forever. And when you strike, you strike mercilessly. So fear God, and obey me, and reverence him who supplied you with everything you know. 
he supplied you with livestock and children, and gardens and springs, I fear for you, the punishment of an awesome day. They said, it is the same for us, whether you lecture us or do not lecture. This is nothing but morals of the ancients, and we will not be punished. So they denied him, and we destroyed them. Surely, in this is a sign, but most of them are not believers. Your Lord is the Almighty, the Merciful. The Mood disbelieved the messengers when their brother Saleh said to them, Do you not fear? I'm to you a faithful messenger, so fear God and obey me. I ask of you no payment for it. My payment is only from the Lord of the worlds. Will you be left secure in what is here, in gardens and springs, and fields and palm trees whose fruits are delicious and you skillfully carve? Hills is in the mountains, so fear God and obey me, and do not obey the command of the extravagant who spread turmoil on earth and do not reform. They said, you are surely one of the bewitched. You are nothing but a man like us. So bring us a sign if you are truthful. He said, this is a she camel. She has her turn of drinking and you have your turn of drinking on a specified day. And do not touch her with harm, lest the punishment of a great day seizes you. But they slaughtered her and became full of remorse, and so the punishment overtook them. Surely in this is a sign, but most of them are not believers. Your Lord is the Almighty, the Merciful. The people of Lot disbelieved the messengers when their brother Lot said to them, Do you not fear? I am to you a faithful messenger, so fear God and obey me. I ask of you no payment for it. My payment is only from the Lord of the Worlds. Do you approach the males of the world and forsake the wives your Lord created for you? Indeed, you are intrusive people. They said, unless you refrain, O Lot, you will be expelled. He said, I certainly deplore your conduct, my Lord. Save me and my family from what they do. So we saved him and his family altogether, except for an old woman among those who tarried. Then we destroyed the others, and we rained down on them a rain. Dreadful is the rain of those forewarned. Surely in this is a sign, but most of them are not believers. Your Lord is the Almighty, the Merciful. The people of the woods disbelieved the messengers. When Shuaib said to them, Do you not fear? I'm to you a trustworthy messenger, so fear God and obey me. I ask of you no payment for it. My payment is only from the Lord of the worlds. Give full measure and do not cheat, and weigh with accurate scale, and do not defraud people of their belongings, and do not work corruption in the land, and fear him who created you and the masses of old. They said, you are one of those bewitched and you are nothing but a man like us, and we think that you are a liar. So bring down on us pieces from the sky if you are truthful. He said, my Lord is well aware of what you do. But they denied him, so the punishment of the day of gloom gripped them. It was the punishment of a great day. Surely in this is a sign, but most of them are not believers. Your Lord is the Almighty, the Merciful. It is a revelation from the Lord of the worlds. The honest spirit came down with it upon your heart that you may be one of the warners in a clear Arabic tongue. And it is in the scriptures of the ancients. Is it not a sign for them that the scholars of the children of Israel recognized it? Had we revealed it to one of the foreigners, and he had recited it to them, they still would not have believed in it. Thus we make it pass through the hearts of the guilty. They will not believe in it until they witness the painful punishment. It will come to them suddenly while they are unaware. Then they will say, are we given any respite? Do they seek to hasten our punishment? And have you considered if we let them enjoy themselves for some years, then there comes to them what they were promised, of what avail to them will be their past enjoyments. Never did we destroy a town, but it had warners. As a reminder, we are never unjust. It was not the devils that revealed it. It is not in their interests nor in their power. 
They are barred from hearing, so do not pray to another god with God, else you will be of those tormented. And warn your close relatives, and lower your wing to those of the believers who follow you. And if they disobey you, say, I am innocent of what you do. And put your trust in the Almighty, the Merciful, He who sees you when you rise, and your devotions amidst the worshippers. He is indeed the hearer, the aware. Shall I inform you upon whom the devils descend? They descend upon every sinful liar. They give ear, and most of them are liars. And as for the poets, the deviators follow them. Do you not see how they ramble in every style, and how they say what they do not do, except for those who believe and do good deeds, and remember God frequently, and defend themselves after they are wronged? As for those who do wrong, they will know by what overturning they will be overturned. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, ta seen. These are the signs of the Quran, a book that makes things clear. Guidance and good news for the believers, those who observe the prayers and give charity regularly and are certain of the hereafter. As for those who do not believe in the hereafter, we made their deeds appear good to them, so they wander aimlessly. It is they who will receive the grievous punishment, and in the hereafter they will be the greatest losers. You are receiving the Quran from an all-wise, all-knowing. When Moses said to his family, I have glimpsed a fire, I will bring you some news from it, or bring you a firebrand, that you may warm yourselves. Then when he reached it, he was called, Blessed is he who is within the fire, and he who is around it, and glorified be God, Lord of the worlds. O Moses, it is I, God the Almighty, the wise, throw down your staff. But when he saw it quivering as though it were a demon, he turned around not looking back. O oh Moses, do not fear. The messengers do not fear in my presence. But whoever has done wrong and then substituted goodness in place of evil, I am forgiving and merciful. Put your hand inside your pocket and it will come out white without blemish among nine miracles to Pharaoh and his people, for they are immoral people. Yet when our enlightening signs came to them, they said, this is obvious witchcraft. And they rejected them, although their souls were certain of them, out of wickedness and pride. So see how the outcome was for the mischief makers. And we gave David and Solomon knowledge. They said, praise God, who has favored us over many of his believing servants. And Solomon succeeded David. He said, O oh people, we were taught the language of birds, and we were given from everything. This is indeed a real blessing. To the service of Solomon were mobilized his troops of sprites and men and birds, all held in strict order, until when they came upon the Valley of Ants, an ant said, O oh, ants, go into your nests, lest Solomon and his troops crush you without noticing. He smiled and laughed at her words and said, My lord, direct me to be thankful for the blessings you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents, and to do good works that please you. And admit me by your grace into the company of your virtuous servants. Then he inspected the birds and said, Why do I not see the hoopoe? Or is he among the absentees? I will punish him most severely or slay him unless he gives me a valid excuse. But he did not stay for long. He said, I have learnt something you did not know. I have come to you from Sheba with reliable information. I found a woman ruling over them, and she was given of everything, and she has a magnificent throne. I found her and her people worshipping the sun instead of God. Satan made their conduct appear good to them and diverted them from the path, so they are not guided. If only they would worship God, who brings to light the mysteries of the heavens and the earth, and knows what you conceal and what you reveal. God, there is no God but He, the Lord of the sublime throne. He said, we will see whether you have spoken the truth or whether you are a liar. 
Go with this letter of mine and deliver it to them, then withdraw from them and see how they respond. She said, no counselors, a gracious letter was delivered to me. It is from Solomon and it is in the name of God, the gracious, the merciful. Do not defy me and come to me submissively. She said, O oh, counselors, advise me in this matter of mine. I never make a decision unless you are present. And they said, we are a people of might and great courage, but the decision is yours, so consider what you wish to command. She said, when kings enter a city, they devastate it and subjugate its dignified people. Thus, they always do. I'm sending them a gift, and we'll see what the envoys bring back. When he came to Solomon, he said, Are you supplying me with money? What God has given me is better than what he has given you. It is you who delight in your gift. Go back to them. We will come upon them with troops they cannot resist, and we will expel them from there, disgraced and humiliated. He said, O oh, notables, which one of you will bring me her throne before they come to me in submission? An imp of the sprite said, I will bring it to you before you rise from your seat. I am strong and reliable enough to do it. He who had knowledge from the book said, I will bring it to you before your glance returns to you. And when he saw it settled before him, he said, This is from the grace of my Lord to test me, whether I am grateful or ungrateful. He who is grateful, his gratitude is to his own credit. But he who is ungrateful, my Lord is independent and generous. He said, disguise her throne for her, and we shall see whether she will be guided or remains one of the misguided. When she arrived, it was said, is your throne like this? She said, as if this is it. We were given knowledge before her, and we were submissive. But she was prevented by what she worshipped besides God. She belonged to a disbelieving people. It was said to her, go inside the palace. And when she saw it, she thought it was a deep pond, and she bared her legs. He said, it is a palace paved with glass. She said, my lord, I have done wrong to myself, and I have submitted with Solomon to God, Lord of the worlds. And we sent to Thamud their brother Saleh, worship God. But they became two disputing factions, and he said, O oh my people, why are you quick to do evil rather than good? If only you would seek God's forgiveness, so that you may be shown mercy. They said, We consider you an ill omen, and those with you. He said, your omen is with God. In fact, you are a people being tested. In the city was a gang of nine who made mischief in the land and did no good. They said, swear by God to one another that we will attack him and his family by night and then tell his guardian, we did not witness the murder of his family and we are being truthful. They planned a plan and we planned a plan, but they did not notice, so note the outcome of their planning. We destroyed them and their people altogether. Here are their homes in ruins on account of their iniquities. Surely in this is a sign for people who know. And we saved those who believed and were pious. And Lot, when he said to his people, do you commit lewdness with open eyes? Do you lust after men instead of women? You are truly ignorant people. But the only response of his people was to say, expel the family of Lot from your town. They are purest people. So we saved him and his family except for his wife, whom we destined to be among the laggards, and we rained upon them a rain. Miserable was the reign of those forewarned. Say, praise God and peace be upon his servants whom he has selected. Is God better, or what they associate? Or who created the heavens and the earth and rains down water from the sky for you? With it, we produce gardens full of beauty whose trees you could not have produced. Is there another God with God? But they are a people who equate. 
or who made the earth habitable and made rivers flow through it and set mountains on it and placed a partition between the two seas? Is there another God with God? But most of them do not know. Or who answers the one in need when he prays to him and relieves adversity and makes you successors on earth? Is there another God with God? How hardly you pay attention. Or who guides you through the darkness of land and sea and who sends the winds as heralds of his mercy? Is there another God with God? Most exalted is God above what they associate or who originates the creation and then repeats it and who gives you livelihood from the sky and the earth? Is there another God with God? Say, produce your evidence if you are truthful. Say, no one in the heavens or on earth knows the future except God, and they do not perceive when they will be resurrected. In fact, their knowledge of the hereafter is confused. In fact, they are in doubt about it. In fact, they are blind to it. Those who disbelieve say, when we have become dust and our ancestors, shall we be brought out? We were promised that before, we and our ancestors, these are nothing but legends of the ancients. Say, travel through the earth and observe the fate of the guilty. But do not grieve over them and do not be troubled by what they plot. And they say, when is this promise if you are truthful? Say, perhaps some of what you are impatient for has drawn near. Your Lord is gracious towards humanity, but most of them are not thankful. And your Lord knows what their hearts conceal and what they reveal. There is no mystery in the heaven and the earth, but it is in a clear book. This Quran relates to the children of Israel most of what they differ about. <laughs> and it is guidance and mercy for the believers. Your Lord will judge between them by his wisdom. He is the Almighty, the All-Knowing. So rely on God. You are upon the clear truth. You cannot make the dead hear, nor can you make the deaf hear the call if they turn their backs and flee. Nor can you guide the blind out of their straying. You can make no one listen except those who believe in our verses, for they are Muslims. And when the word has fallen on them, we will bring out for them from the earth a creature which will say to them that the people are uncertain of our revelations. On the day when we gather from every community a group of those who rejected our revelations, and they will be restrained. Until when they arrive, he will say, did you reject my revelations without comprehending them? Or what is it you were doing? The word will come down upon them for their wrongdoing, and they will not speak. Do they not see that we made the night for them to rest therein, and the day for visibility? Surely, in that are signs for people who believe. On the day when the trumpet is blown, everyone in the heavens and the earth will be horrified, except whomever God wills, and everyone will come before him in humility and you see the mountains and imagine them fixed, yet they pass as the passing of the clouds, the making of God, who has perfected everything. He is fully informed of what you do. Whoever brings a virtue will receive better than it, and they will be safe from the horrors of that day. But whoever brings evil, their faces will be tumbled into the fire. Will you be rewarded except for what you used to do? I was commanded to worship the Lord of this town, who has sanctified it, and to whom everything belongs. And I was commanded to be of those who submit, and to recite the Quran. Whoever is guided, is guided to his own advantage, and whoever goes astray, then say, I am one of the warners. And say, praise belongs to God. He will show you his signs, and you will recognize them. Your Lord is not heedless of what you do. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful. Tayusin Mam. These are the verses of the clear book. We narrate to you from the history of Moses and Pharaoh, in truth, for people who believe.
Pharaoh exalted himself in the land and divided its people into factions. He persecuted a group of them, slaughtering their sons while sparing their daughters. He was truly a corrupter. But we desired to favor those who were oppressed in the land and to make them leaders and to make them the inheritors and to establish them in the land and to show Pharaoh, Haman and their troops the very thing they feared. We inspired the mother of Moses, nurse him. Then when you fear for him, cast him into the river and do not fear nor grieve. We will return him to you and make him one of the messengers. Pharaoh's household picked him up to be an opponent and a sorrow for them. Pharaoh, Haman and their troops were sinners. Pharaoh's wife said, an eye's delight for me and for you. Do not kill him. Perhaps he will be useful to us, or we may adopt him as a son. But they did not foresee. The heart of Moses' mother became vacant. She was about to disclose him had we not steadied her heart that she may remain a believer. She said to his sister, trail him. So she watched him from afar, and they were unaware. We forbade him breastfeeding at first, so she said, Shall I tell you about a family that can raise him for you and will look after him? Thus we returned him to his mother, that she may be comforted and not grieve, and know that God's promise is true, but most of them do not know. And when he reached his maturity and became established, we gave him wisdom and knowledge. Thus do we reward the virtuous. Once he entered the city unnoticed by its people, he found in it two men fighting, one of his own sect and one from his enemies. The one of his sect solicited his assistance against the one from his enemies. So Moses punched him and put an end to him. He said, this is of Satan's doing. He is an enemy that openly misleads. He said, my Lord, I have wronged myself, so forgive me. So he forgave him. He is the forgiver, the merciful. And he said, My Lord, inasmuch as you have favored me, I will never be a supporter of the criminals. The next morning, he went about in the city, fearful and vigilant, when the man who had sought his assistance the day before was shouting out to him. Moses said to him, You are clearly a troublemaker. As he was about to strike the one who was their enemy, he said, O oh Moses, do you intend to kill me as you killed someone yesterday? You only want to be a bully in the land and do not want to be a peacemaker. And a man came from the farthest part of the city running. He said, O oh Moses, the authorities are considering killing you. So leave. I am giving you good advice. So he left, fearful and vigilant. He said, My Lord, deliver me from the wrongdoing people. As he headed towards Median, he said, Perhaps my Lord will guide me to the right way. And when he arrived at the waters of Median, he found there a crowd of people drawing water, and he noticed two women waiting on the side. He said, What is the matter with you? They said, we cannot draw water until the shepherds depart, and our father is a very old man. So he drew water for them, and then withdrew to the shade and said, My Lord, I am in dire need of whatever good you might send down to me. Then one of the two women approached him, walking bashfully. She said, My father is calling you to reward you for drawing water for us. And when he came to him and told him the story, he said, Do not fear, you have escaped from the wrongdoing people. One of the two women said, Father, hire him. The best employee for you is the strong and trustworthy. He said, I want to marry you to one of these two daughters of mine, provided you work for me for eight years. But if you complete ten, that is up to you. I do not intend to impose any hardship on you. You will find me, God willing, one of the righteous. He said, let this be an agreement between you and me. Whichever of the two terms I fulfill, there shall be no reprisal against me. And God is witness over what we say.
When Moses had completed the term and departed with his family, he noticed a fire by the side of the mount. He said to his family, stay here, I have glimpsed a fire. Perhaps I can bring you some information from there or an ember from the fire that you may warm yourselves. When he reached it, he was called from the right side of the valley at the blessed spot, from the bush. O oh Moses, it is I, God, the Lord of the worlds. Throw down your staff. And when he saw it wiggling as if it were possessed, he turned his back to flee and did not look back. O oh Moses, come forward and do not fear. You are perfectly safe. Put your hand inside your pocket and it will come out white without blemish. And press your arm to your side against fear. These are two proofs from your Lord to Pharaoh and his dignitaries. They are truly sinful people. He said, my Lord, I have killed one of them and I fear they will kill me. And my brother Aaron, he is more eloquent than me. So send him with me to help me and to confirm my words for I fear they will reject me. He said, we will strengthen your arm with your brother and we will give you authority so they will not touch you. By virtue of our signs, you and those who follow you will be the triumphant. But when Moses came to them with our signs clear and manifest, they said, this is nothing but fabricated magic and we never heard of this from our ancestors of old. Moses said, my Lord is well aware of him who brings guidance from him and him who will have the sequel of the abode. The wrongdoers will not succeed. Pharaoh said, O oh, nobles, I know of no God for you other than me. So fire up the bricks for me, O Haman, and build me a tower that I may ascend to the God of Moses, though I think he is a liar. He and his troops acted arrogantly in the land with no justification. They thought they would not be returned to us. So we seized him and his troops and we threw them into the sea. Observe therefore what was the end of the oppressors. And we made them leaders calling to the fire and on resurrection day, they will not be saved. And we pursued them in this world with a curse and on resurrection day, they will be among the despised. We gave Moses the scripture after we had annihilated the previous generations as an illumination for mankind and guidance and mercy so that they may remember. You were not on the western side when we decreed the command to Moses, nor were you among the witnesses. But we established many generations and time took its toll on them. Nor were you among the people of Median reciting our revelations to them, but we kept sending messengers. Nor were you by the side of the mount when we proclaimed. Rather, it was a mercy from your Lord that you may warn people who received no warner before you so that they may take heed. Otherwise, if a calamity befell them as a result of what their hands have perpetrated, they would say, our Lord, if only you had sent us a messenger, we would have followed your revelations and been among the believers. But when the truth came to them from us, they said, if only he was given the like of what was given to Moses. Did they not disbelieve in what was given to Moses in the past? They said, two works of magic backing one another. And they said, we are disbelieving in both. Say, then bring a scripture from God, more conductive to guidance than both. And I will follow it if you are truthful. But if they fail to respond to you, know that they follow their fancies. And who is more lost than him who follows his fancy without guidance from God? God does not guide the unjust people. We've delivered the word to them that they may remember those to whom we gave the scripture before it believe in it. When it is recited to them, they say we have believed in it. It is the truth from our Lord. We were Muslims prior to it. These will be given their reward twice because they persevered and they counter evil with good and from our provisions to them, they give. 
and when they hear vain talk, they avoid it and say, We have our deeds, and you have your deeds. Peace be upon you. We do not desire the ignorant. You cannot guide whom you love, but God guides whom he wills, and he knows best those who are guided. And they say, If we follow the guidance with you, we will be snatched from our land. Did we not establish for them a safe sanctuary to which are brought all kinds of fruits as provision from ourselves? But most of them do not know. And how many a city did we destroy for turning unappreciative of its livelihood? Here are their homes, uninhabited after them, except for a few, and we became the inheritors. Your Lord never destroys cities without first sending a messenger in their midst, reciting to them our revelations. And we never destroy the cities unless their people are wrongdoers. Whatever thing you are given is but the material of this world, and its glitter. But what is with God is better and longer lasting. Do you not comprehend? Can someone to whom we have made a fine promise, which he will attain, be equal to someone to whom we have given enjoyments in this world, but who will be on Resurrection Day among the arraigned? On the day when he will call to them and say, Where are my associates whom you used to claim? Those against whom the sentence is justified will say, Our Lord, these are they whom we misled. We misled them as we were misled. We beg your forgiveness. It was not us they used to worship. And it will be said, call on your partners, and they will call on them, but they will not respond to them. And they will see the suffering if only they were guided. On the day when he will call to them and say, what did you answer the messengers? They will be blinded by the facts on that day, and they will not question each other. But he who repents and believes and does righteous deeds may well be among the winners. Your Lord creates whatever he wills, and he chooses. The choice is not theirs. Glory be to God, and exalted be he above the associations they make. And your Lord knows what their hearts conceal and what they reveal. And he is God. There is no God but he. To him belongs all praise in this life and in the next. And his is the decision, and to him you will be returned. Say, have you considered? Had God made the night perpetual over you until the day of resurrection, which God other than God will bring you illumination? Do you not hear? Say, have you considered? Had God made the day perpetual over you until the day of resurrection, which God other than God will bring you night to rest in? Do you not see? It, it is out of his mercy that he made for you the night and the day that you may rest in it and seek some of his bounty and that you may give thanks on the day when he will call to them and say, where are my associates whom you used to claim? And we will draw out from every community a witness and say, produce your evidence. Then they will realize that the truth is God's and those they used to invent have forsaken them. Quarun belonged to the clan of Moses, but he oppressed them. We had given him treasures, the keys of which would weigh down a group of strong men. His people said to him, Do not exult. God does not love the exultant, but seek with what God has given you the home of the hereafter, and do not neglect your share of this world and be charitable as God has been charitable to you, and do not seek corruption in the land. God does not like the seekers of corruption. He said, I was given all this on account of knowledge I possess. Did he not know that God destroyed many generations before him who were stronger than he and possessed greater riches? But the guilty will not be asked about their sins and he went out before his people in his splendor. Those who desired the worldly life said, if only we possessed the likes of what Quarun was given, he is indeed very fortunate. But those who were given knowledge said, woe to you, the reward of God is better for those who believe and do righteous deeds. Yet none attains it 
except the steadfast. So we caused the earth to cave in on him and his mansion. He had no company to save him from God, and he could not defend himself. Those who had wished they were in his position the day before were saying, Indeed, it is God who spreads the bounty to whomever he wills of his servants and restricts it. Had God not been gracious to us, he would have caved in on us. No wonder the ungrateful never prosper. That home of the hereafter, we assign it for those who seek no superiority on earth nor corruption. And the outcome is for the cautious. Whoever brings a virtue will receive better than it, but whoever brings evil, the evildoers will be rewarded only according to what they used to do. He who ordained the Quran, for you will return you home. Say, my Lord knows best who comes with guidance and who is in manifest error. You did not expect the scripture to be transmitted to you except as mercy from your Lord. Therefore, do not be a supporter of the disbelievers and do not let them divert you from God's revelations after they have been revealed to you and pray to your Lord and never be of the polytheists and do not invoke with God any other God. There is no God but he. All things perish except his presence. His is the judgment and to him you will be returned. In the name of God, the gracious, the merciful, Alif Lam Mim, have the people supposed that they will be left alone to say, we believe without being put to the test. We have tested those before them. God will surely know the truthful and he will surely know the liars. Or do those who commit sins think they can fool us? Terrible is their opinion. Whoever looks forward to the meeting with God, the appointed time of God is coming. He is the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Whoever strives, strives only for himself. God is independent of the beings. Those who believe and do righteous deeds, we will remit their sins and we will reward them according to the best of what they used to do. We have advised the human being to be good to his parents. But if they urge you to associate with me something you have no knowledge of, do not obey them. To me is your return, and I will inform you of what you used to do. Those who believe and do good works, we will admit them into the company of the righteous. Among the people is he who says, we have believed in God. Yet when he's harmed on God's account, he equates the people's persecution with God's retribution. And if help comes from your Lord, he says, we were actually with you. Is not God aware of what is inside the hearts of the people? God certainly knows those who believe, and he certainly knows the hypocrites. Those who disbelieve say to those who believe, follow our way and we will carry your sins. In no way can they carry any of their sins. They are liars. They will carry their own loads and other loads with their own. And they will be questioned on the day of resurrection concerning what they used to fabricate. We sent Noah to his uh, people and he stayed among them for a thousand years, minus 50 years. Then the deluge swept them, for they were wrongdoers. But we saved him together with the company of the ark, and we made it a sign for all peoples. And Abraham, when he said to his people, worship God and fear him, that is better for you if you only knew. You worship idols besides God, and you fabricate falsehoods. Those you worship instead of God cannot provide you with livelihood. So seek your livelihood from God and worship him and thank him to him you will be returned. If you disbelieve, communities before you have also disbelieved. The messenger is only responsible for clear transmission. Have they not seen how God originates the creation and then reproduces it? This is easy for God. Say, roam the earth and observe how he originated the creation. Then God will bring about the next existence. God has power over all things. 
He punishes whom he wills, and he grants mercy to whom he wills, and to him you will be restored. You cannot escape on earth or in the heaven, and you have no protector and no savior besides God. Those who disbelieved in God's signs and his encounter, these have despaired of my mercy. For them is a painful torment. But the only response from his people was their saying, kill him or burn him. But God saved him from the fire. Surely in that are signs for people who believe. And he said, you have chosen idols instead of God out of affection for one another in the worldly life. But then on the day of resurrection, you will disown one another and curse one another. Your destiny is hell and you will have no saviors. Then Lot believed in him and said, I'm emigrating to my Lord. He is the noble, the wise. And we granted him Isaac and Jacob and conferred on his descendants the prophethood and the book and gave him his reward in this life. And in the hereafter, he will be among the upright. And Lot, when he said to his people, you are committing an obscenity not perpetrated before you by anyone in the whole world. You approach men and cut off the way and commit lewdness in your gatherings. But the only response from his people was to say, bring upon us God's punishment if you are truthful. He said, my Lord, help me against the people of corruption. And when our envoys brought Abraham the good news, they said, we are going to destroy the people of this town. Its people are wrongdoers. He said, yet Lot is in it. They said, we are well aware of who is in it. We will save him and his family, except for his wife, who will remain behind. Then when our envoys came to Lot, they were mistreated and he was troubled and distressed on their account. They said, do not fear nor grieve. We will save you and your family, except for your wife, who will remain behind. We will bring down upon the people of this town a scourge from heaven because of their wickedness. And we left behind a clear trace of it for people who understand. And to Median, their brother Shwaib, he said, O oh, my people, worship God and anticipate the last day and do not spread corruption in the land. But they rejected him, so the tremor overtook them, and they were left motionless in their homes. And Hyde and Thamud, it has become clear to you from their dwellings. Satan embellished for them their deeds, barring them from the path, even though they could see. And Quarun and Pharaoh and Haman, Moses went to them with clear arguments, but they acted arrogantly in the land, and they could not get ahead. Each we seized by his sin. Against some we sent a sandstorm. Some were struck by the blast. Some we caused the ground to cave in beneath them. And some we drowned. It was not God who wronged them, but it was they who wronged their own selves. The likeness of those who take to themselves protectors other than God is that of the spider. It builds a house, but the most fragile of houses is the spider's house, if they only knew. God knows what they invoke besides him. He is the almighty, the wise. These examples, we put them forward to the people, but none grasp them except the learned. God created the heavens and the earth with truth. Surely in that is a sign for the believers. Recite what is revealed to you of the scripture and perform the prayer. The prayer prevents indecencies and evils, and the remembrance of God is greater. And God knows what you do, and do not argue with the people of the Scripture, except in the best manner possible, except those who do wrong among them. And say, we believe in what was revealed to us, and in what was revealed to you, and our God, and your God is one, and to him we are submissive. Like we see, we reveal to you the scripture. Those to whom we gave the scripture believe in it, and some of these believe in it. None renounce. Our communications accept the disbelievers. You did not read any scripture before this, nor did you write it down with your right hand. Otherwise, the falsifiers would have doubted. In fact, it is clear signs in the hearts of those given knowledge. 
no one renounce our signs except the unjust. And they said, if only a miracle from his Lord was sent down to him. Say, miracles are only with God, and I am only a clear warner. Does it not suffice them that we reveal to you the scripture which is recited to them? In that is mercy and a reminder for people who believe. Say, God suffices as witness between you and me. He knows everything in the heavens and the earth. Those who believe in vanity and reject God, it is they who are the losers. And they urge you to hasten the punishment, were it not for a specified time, the punishment would have come to them. But it will come upon them suddenly while they are unaware. They urge you to hasten the punishment, but hell will engulf the disbelievers. On the day when the punishment will envelop them from above them, and from beneath their feet, he will say, Taste what you used to do. O my servants who have believed, my earth is vast, so worship me alone. Every soul will taste death, then to us you will be returned. Those who believe and work righteousness, we will settle them in paradise, in mansions under which rivers flow, dwelling therein forever. Excellent is the compensation for the workers. Those who endure patiently, and in their Lord they trust. How many a creature there is that does not carry its provision. God provides for them, and for you. He is the hearer, the knowledgeable. And if you ask them who created the heavens and the earth, and regulated the sun and the moon, they would say, God. Why then do they deviate? God expands the provision for whomever he wills of his servants and restricts it. God is cognizant of all things. And if you ask them who sends water down from the sky with which he revives the earth after it had died, they would say, God. Say, praise be to God. But most of them do not understand. The life of this world is nothing but diversion and play, and the home of the hereafter is the life, if they only knew. When they embark on a vessel, they pray to God, devoting their faith to Him. But once He has delivered them safely to land, they attribute partners to Him, to be ungrateful for what we have given them, and to enjoy themselves. They will surely come to know. Do they not see that we established a secure sanctuary while all around them the people are being carried away? Do they believe in falsehood and reject the blessings of God? And who does greater wrong than he who fabricates lies and attributes them to God, or calls the truth a lie when it has come to him? Is there not in hell a dwelling for the blasphemers? As for those who strive for us, we will guide them in our ways. God is with the doers of good.